the button. We should hopefully be connecting. We're sending data to Facebook and YouTube. Let us know if we're live. I'm very much hoping that we are. I'm gonna switch over to the chat in a sec. I see Facebook is online and YouTube lagging behind a little. Come on, YouTube, you can do it. What are we all saying? Yeah, we we're, on. we're on YouTube and we're on Facebook. We should be live on both. I'm gonna ninja my way around to my seat and then we'll have a look at the chat and see if everybody can hear us. Do you need me to thread that around anywhere mm. or no? I think we're all right. I give myself enough. Okay. Ah, okay, I get my seat. Let's see. In the chat. Let's see who's here. Right, folks, if we are live, give me a chat. Hey, all, I'm going to type myself into the chat. Let's switch to this camera. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see if I can. Hey, evening, all. Hey, Az. Hi, people. all. There we go. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Baz. Hey, Mike. Hooray, says Mike. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Uh, I'm just giving everything a quick refresh so I can see that everything's running. It does look like it is. I do see a fly in here, too. Awesome. He's really? going to be. If the devil could get him, that would be swell. Hi, Az and Ku. Well, let me just Ku, cool, maybe. The devil brought him with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's the devil's friend. It's about. We had, um, we had talked about doing some of the apocalypse scenarios, but our little round table here in the studio is not the biggest. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. And the apocalypse scenarios, when you, especially when you've got the four horsemen, uh, they bring a lot of their own special tiles. They bring a lot of their own deployment. They bring a lot of troops that come in from all directions. We kind of went, we'll go with something that we know we can definitely fit on the table yeah. with my little laptop as well. Andrew's already causing fuss. Team Josh or Team Jack. You know fine rightly I'm putting up a, a straw poll in a minute, Andrew. <laughs> 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 but it's going to be Team Devil or Team Pope, right? Yeah. Holy or unholy? I mean, I, I won't lie, I did get very nervous about creating our thumbnail picture uh, <laughs> that I shared earlier. I did ask the office if it was a little too on the nose having the devil versus the Pope, but I thought it was all right. Um, do you know, I'm gonna go ahead and make a straw poll now. And while I do this, I know, let's start, who, who, do you want to start with Team Pope? You wanna give us a rundown of, of who you've got on Team yeah, Pope? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> my stuff is sort of split into a few different little groups. So I'm going to butcher the place name, but Avignon. Yeah. Avignon. So yes. defending Avignon and protecting Pope Clement VI, who's hidden somewhere, but we'll come to that. I have in the church, I have the Inquisitor, who I believe he is specifically Nicholas Emmerich. Uh, I can't remember his name, but yeah. he's Nicholas somebody. Oh. Yeah, he's in the church. His execution is out just outside the church there, accompanied by two units of Pikeman. So yes, the interior. We've sorry. got the Halbidies. building interiors around mm -hmm. the board, sort of. So the church is over there. This house interior is yeah. over there. This house interior is over here, and this one is over here. Yeah. So there are interiors for the buildings, so that you can see the buildings and you can see the interiors at the same time. Yeah. Now, for anyone that's interested, we're playing the the Devil in Avignon scenario, which comes in the Unleash Hell box. This is a two-player only scenario and does have quite a few custom setup rules. So we have gone through the initial stage, which is Josh setting up um, his um, initial troops, yeah, and you had some spe specific requirements for that. Yeah. Uh, I had to set up one unit in each of the four buildings. So, we've got so I've church. got the Inquisitor yeah. in the church. Yeah. In the small building here, I have one unit of halberdiers. Mm -hmm. In this large building here, I have Jean de Meurs, who's a yeah. musical theorist. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because musical theorists are the people you take to every battle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good job I've got two then, because I've also got Philippe <laughs> de Vitry in this oh, building right. here. Yeah, yeah, Philippe de Vitry. Um, Hi guys. Philippe can the heal units one. and move the unholy stuff around, and Jean is an engineer as well as a oh, musical theorist. Spicy, spicy. Lots of interesting. And then everybody tricks. else had to start off in village areas. Which yeah. are the ones mm -hmm. with, with these grey, grey bases, slabs? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you also have a lot of other troops that are sort of potentially yes. coming in mm -hmm. later. Well, I have Pope Clement who's hiding somewhere. He'll turn up at some point, or rather. I'd I hope he doesn't. Okay. Um, I potentially uh, will have divine intervention and Archangel Gabriel will uh, come Maybe. down and help me. But I have got a full papal legion on the way. A bunch of Italians coming to the rescue. Mm -hmm. the, the, their vanguard will arrive at the start of the second battle round and everyone else will arrive on the third battle round. Awesome. Um, and what, sorry, well, let's work it out. What are you both trying to do? What is your goal, Josh? Uh, I'm trying to live the night, basically. <laughs> um, I have two different victory conditions. I can either kill the devil, which is We're trying to avoid so a small victory for right. the forces of holiness, I'd say, uh, or I can simply have Pope Clement live through all six battle rounds. Okay, sounds good. And the devil? He's trying to make that not happen. 
um, basically, uh, I've got a. It, it, it's it's a game of find the Pope. Uh, for for me, uh, somewhere in one of these four buildings is the Pope, and in a moment, we'll, we'll, uh, Josh will decide where. And um, give us, give us your token to find him. Josh, yeah, I want to find him and then eat him. Yeah. So for everyone at home, what we have here, coming close, you can see I've got basically four tile to tokens here. So Josh, you're going to get to choose. Yeah, I get to yeah. choose where you're going to place these. Um, yeah. So are we at the stage you can do that? So we did. Now? Yeah, we did yeah. the first the it's first the phase in the setup. First point. step in. St for, First phase and step up is, is for the sort of initial defenders of Avignon to be put out, yep. and then Josh places where where the uh, Pope is hiding, and then I put my forces on. Okay. Now, what I want to know is, did Josh actually look, or did he just oh, shuffle looks. these? They oh, just shuffle and run. No, 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 no. I, I, I wouldn't believe that Josh, Josh is far too careful a player to accidentally so, leave the Pope lying around I, somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why we're doing Team Pope versus Team Devil in the vote here. We should definitely be doing which buildings to Pope in and see if people yeah, at home can actually... <laughs> so, so for that one, we've got Church, we've got Small Farmhouse, and then we've got, shall we say, the walled house, walled house, large house, and yeah, large yeah. house. Oh, no, yeah, walled house and large because yeah. we've got two two large houses. Well, look, I, I put a cop out in, and unfortunately, I've skewed the vote. I'm sorry. I did Team Devil versus Team Pope, but I also put Team Good Place as a potential winner because we're all in the good place, and Team Good Place is slamming home the victory right now. <laughs> sorry. Well, that can be the reinforcements. That's, that's all good then. Yeah. So, what are you okay, rocking so, with forces wise? So, what have I got forces wise? I have obviously the devil yep. in person. Uh, and um, who, who is a very interesting, interesting thing actually? You, you, we've seen we've got four gigantic creatures, mm -hmm. uh, of which he is one. And gigantic creatures are very big and stompy and have lots more wounds than everybody and so mm -hmm. on. Uh, but they're they're quite different from each other. The dragon, for example, is very different from the devil. And you think the devil is is a sort of close combat specialist, but that's actually not quite true. The devil's way too sneaky to just go and yep. risk himself like that. Yep. He really works. He's he's got um, for those who know the rules. He's got command five, which means he can command five units in, during his turn, and he can command, if he's got the right activation cube. But he can do that up to five away. So basically, we did have a have a game of this where there was one hex where he couldn't <laughs> do it. But yeah, that's so, corner, so far basically it was, it was he was there, and then there was one unit over here. But basically, it means pretty much anywhere. He's like the ultimate leader, really. He's yeah. very, very good at, at commanding, and because he's a gigantic creature, he can stomp on people. He can use these big purple dice, which I'm currently using as my starting locations, just to mark those on the map. And in the um, 1.5 rules, he can now clear, he can walk straight into areas with and trees and, and terrain, just, just yeah. smash it so, aside now. So if I set him up here, he will just remove these trees yeah. because he, he he does that with it. what we call terrain elements, which is anything that's not a building, basically. So the walls, the uh, the well, the shrine, and so on. Um, so he's very, very interesting. He he can he can also fly. Obviously, he's currently sitting on some uh, sky hexes we have here, <laughs> uh, but that's because I've got nowhere else to put him for the moment. But when he <laughs> when he when he sets up, um, on my setup, I have to place it in somebody in each of these four. So I've got as well as him, I have. Well, you missed off the scariest bit. Oh, you sorry. Can yes, the yeah. sorry. Of men. I can. I can corrupt the hearts of men. I kind of thought everybody knows that. Right? The devil corrupts the hearts of men. He he has a couple of things he can do, uh, as well as just generally be big and scary and fly and stamp on people. He can um, he can spend two normal activations to buy a reactivation. So it's like interrupt, interrupt. interrupt. Yeah. Um, and I can do that whenever I like. So I can do that in the middle of Josh's turn if I fancy it, which is. Very useful, but a bit expensive at times because I eat through my actions. Because it's very tempting to do it. Um, also, when I get to do my gigantic attacks, he gets one more purple dice than all the other gigantic Extra creatures. That's one of his death, yep. special things. Uh, he's also cheap to activate because normally gigantic creatures cost two activations, yep. at least either the sky or the ground if they can fly. They want at least one zone. Mm -hmm. They're expensive, but he is cheap. He costs one in anywhere. So he's kind of nimble, he moves around, he's good at command, he's sneaky <laughs> rather than <laughs> just a, a, a kind of beat stick. He's, yeah. he's not, he's, he's the cunning sly devil rather than just the big monster, rather than the big tank. Um, so that's kind of interesting because he's not at all like the dragon or the beast. Yeah. Um, so he also, and the one, the, the, uh, the trick that Josh was mentioning is once a turn I get to spend a legend point to have a 50-50 chance of corrupting one of his one of his troop units um, mm -hmm. that 
can be quite entertaining. It can, yes, it absolutely can. It, um, it all depends on where, where everybody is because it's got to be adjacent to one of my troops. So I've got to get people in the right positions. Yeah. But it does mean that um, I can keep doing that throughout the game. So, so I can hopefully turn some nasty tricks on Josh if I can just be a bit lucky with the dice when I need to. So that's an interesting aside. But as well as that, I have some flying demons. Uh, who can shoot and are a bit nasty and are immortal quite fast and are immortal which means that they are going to stick around I've got lots of dogs lots of wolves uh, who are fast and uh, good at sniffing out popes hopefully hopefully good at sniffing out popes that's kind of one of the reasons we brought them I've also got the demonic legion who are st who are sort of demon foot soldiers uh, they have a nice little trick where they, they're allowed to um, move an adjacent allied troop as well to mm -hmm. one area which, yep. which just helps kind of tidy tidy units up and keep everybody moving and I have one unit of heretics who are lunatics yeah we could see their stuff come up it's quite situational yeah they have powerful. quite a situational skill where they um, if you get a level two character and they punch them then they can knock them down to level one again <laughs> so far the only the only level two character we've got on the far on the other side potentially is gabriel or the pope or the pope, pope. clement can level up to level two as well <laughs> okay so if the heretics get to punch the pope that would be something of a kind of epic sort of moment heretics but, um, level down pope yes that would yeah, be quite that, the that would he's, be he's a cardinal cool. by the time he hits the ground <laughs> 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 the guys are, are laughing at the fact that along with that i have some flying immortal demons you know no biggie uh, <laughs> just so we'll, we'll see. anyway so yep. so now josh is set up i've got a set up and yep. i've been been thinking about what i'm going to do so i'm going to put uh i have to put somebody on each of these deployment zones so i'll take the deployment zone away while i do it so just while Jake's doing that, so what um, have you got currently deployed on the map there? Uh, so I, w I mentioned the Halberdiers and the Executioner. I've got two units of Bowmen, I have a Culvern, and I have two units of Foot Knights. Okay, awesome. Uh, which one so just so everyone at home is clear numbers. before we get started on this, Josh also starts with uh, an interrupt one order. Interrupt. Um, and a reroll and his entry card and again mm -hmm. Jack of course has a reroll and entry card as well but no orders to begin no with. orders to begin with um, no we means. are playing six rounds if the Pope is destroyed then it's going to be an instant win uh, for the devil if he survives until the end of the sixth round or if the devil is destroyed then the papal army is going to win there are going to be a couple of interesting things as well that happen um, later on at the beginning of each war council phase each player We'll learn an intrigue or a legend for each allied area containing the shrine, the cloister ruins, or the well. So initially, Josh could be in for some nice treats, but as yeah, the, Josh the White Legion come in. He's going to get three just on the first, first turn, regardless, because there's nothing I can do before that. But that's a, that, after that's that a choice point. between legend and intrigue tokens, yes, right? right yeah. Which is pretty much going to be the. It's probably going to be a Give me intrigue. Because mm -hmm, intrigue. Mm -hmm. If you, Josh gets four intrigue tokens, he can buy the Archangel Gabriel to come and help. So that's probably something that's fairly high on his <laughs> shopping list. Gabriel's pretty useful. So just before we get started, I'm going to share the vote again. So right now, the good place is winning with 46%. Team yep. Devil on 38%. The second Team Pope is 15%. Oh, oh Team dear. Pope, it's not looking very good for you. Wow. For you. Um, if you guys do want to see any cards specifically, I have this little camera here where I can put some cards in and show you guys what's going on. Um, so if you want to hear about any abilities, do that. But once we start playing, we'll try and keep it pretty smooth. Um, at the end, we'll have a bit of a chat about kind of any questions you have. Um, although Leo will be live tomorrow night um, with Vincent um, from Lucky Duck Games. They'll be together chatting and answering questions and talking about both Lucky, uh, Lucky Duck Games' Time Malaysians, Destinies and of course this campaign, so a lot of stuff. But please feel free to pop any suggestions and ideas you have. And Leo is watching this game on his TV. Oh, no pressure, guys. Really? Uh, yeah, he's at home watching it on TV. Um, stay oh, tuned. Stay we'll be tuned. back after this advert. Um, as, uh, do you know what? That's perfect because let's have a quick advert break. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you did that on purpose. That was amazing. I, I have this thing, right? And the guys didn't really know about this because we, we, we're obviously doing, uh, I'll put it here for a second, we're obviously doing the deluxe storage box. And as you guys know, we've put a little bit of information on there, but we're hoping to, before the end of the campaign, to supply you all with a bit more information on what the deluxe storage box is going to hold. We know it's going to hold all the cards. And yes, it'll hold sleeve cards. It's going to hold all your tokens, all your tiles, all your punch board bits, essentially everything that's not a mini in there. And we are also looking at miniature storage options too we'll share more when we can or, but or a book or a, or a book or a book because you're gonna have the big book with all the scenarios in 
Um, the other thing cool. I want to talk about is that the guys at Game Trays have kind of given us a little preview of their X trays, and um, that essentially uh, I've got actually a couple of them here. And the X trays basically are something they've given us as an option. So right now, if you want to pick these up, you can pre-order them. We're using them for storage of our games here. They're super, super, duper handy, and we, we're using these for storage of all of our all of our dice and all of our tokens. And we're basically um, just letting you guys know that if you want something right now, if you back if you back to the game and you want something before your deluxe store box these bad boys are pretty awesome we're, we're using them for our games and taking them about the place so just so you guys know we, we love the stuff that noah does at game trays if you haven't seen the picture of noah with his dog standing on top of an all-in it was incredible um, so i will give you guys your orders sorry i was, I was withholding this from you guys because um, i was greedy i'm not gonna lie ah. Oh, ah here we go Okay, now we're good to go. I was about to say, I was about to say, let's start. And then I realized that I had, I had taken yeah, all your cubes and all taken all your tokens away. Stuff, yeah. um, so shall we start with round one of six? Round one of six. So we have three orders each. Okay. Three command orders. Here you go, sir. I'll give that to Thank you. you. Any start of round triggers or so actions? Yeah, start of the war council phase. I'm going to get free intrigue tokens for control and the free important areas. You sure you want intrigue? Yeah, I'm going to take intrigue. Sure intrigue. So yeah. actually, while you're, while you're taking the intrigue, let me talk about Josh's intrigue card, because his intrigue card has three options. For four intrigue, he can use Divine Intervention, which will let him place Gabriel in a free sky area, or in Pope Clement VI area, uh, which would reveal what he was, so I'm not sure about that. He could use a secret passage if Pope Clement VI is in a building. As a move action, you can place him into another ally building, get him away from where the Demonic Legion have just arrived, or for one intrigue, you can place a barricade token in any allied area by summoning a blessed barricade so you've chosen potential between legend and intrigue you've gone for three intrigues yeah up. okay awesome uh, did the stream get interrupted i hope not please send me a message but i think we're still going all seems fine at my end um, so we've got a three war council card so the three war council cards we have let me show everybody at home what the choices are and it's, it's going to be player one's choice first so we have three and the <laughs> look at the devil <laughs> get out of there devil there we go, we can get a bit, get a bit over in. So three legend tokens, uh, one command order, or one reactivation order is the choice. Tricky. What would you like? I'm going well, to take the three legend tokens. Oh, sorry, yes, Josh is first. Josh is first player, yeah. Three legend tokens and three entry tokens on the first turn. Ooh, yeah. spicy. Yeah. But you don't have any legend cards yet. Not yet. Oh, that, give him a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on Facebook and YouTube, so yes. if one of the streams is having an issue, please feel free to swap. One of his, uh, one of his chaps is going to give him a legend talk card any second now, oh. and he's going to let him through the deck, to rummage through the deck to have a look. So, um, yeah, I am okay. going to take. Who'd have a? Um, I'm going to take a legend card, legend tokens as well. It's very tempting to take the reactivation, mm -hmm. but not uh, uh, over, here. over here. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Uh, because. These fuel my ability to corrupt individuals, which is a jolly entertaining thing to do. <laughs> um, doubly so when it works. Okay. How interesting that you both went, because we had a command order and a reactivation order, but in this mm -hmm. situation, yeah, both went for legend. The reactivation order is very tempting as well. Um, the legend token let, uh, legend tokens allow them to search for the pop, okay. yeah. and they also allow the devil to recruit my troops. Oh, yeah. So in, yeah. in this scenario, the legend tokens are something I, I have to have, yep. and getting them on first turn because I can't. Some of my troops, uh, the flying demons, if they roll a blank yellow when they attack, they get a legend token. Yeah, the demonic legion and the heretics, if they roll a blank yellow when they defend, they get a legend token. So oh, they're great okay. for fueling Love it, it. Yep. as the game goes on. Yep. But at the very start, I want to be trying to corrupt his troops right from awesome. the beginning. So and Jake won't get any experience for destroying papal troops. He'll get uh, legend tokens instead. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. So, so you want to keep I, that flowing. I, it's just at the beginning. I mean, I would love to have the re the reactivation, but we need to fuel the fires. So I'm the very legends. glad you picked that because now, you can, you now there's something I can try and take. You can also steal <laughs> stuff. Also. So at the start of my turn, I roll one black die. And if it's a shield result, which is half the results on a black die, I get to take one experience token or one legend token from an opponent's player board. So this, so this is coming from the Inquisitor. Yeah. So this is this character that Josh has. Yeah, the... Oh. It's, it's not. not a shield. <sighs> what a shame. That's all right. I've got three. You can only steal one anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, Sorry about that. Cool. So any more cheaty dubiousness from the forces of good? <laughs> Yeah, this is quite underhanded for forces <laughs> of good, it's Josh. Just all the way. All I think I'm going to spend a legend token to search the 
legend deck oh. for a card of my choice and add it to my hand. So, so the legend deck. Legend deck. Is over. Oh, it's over by you. I yeah. Oh, all right, okay. Put it over there because <laughs> I'm very unlikely to end up with legend cards because I have nothing that generates legend yeah. cards. Um, I think I want that one. And I have lots of things to spend legend points on that aren't yeah. legend cards. So uh, I'm, I, it's really. Jolly. And who's, who's triggering this ability? Uh, it's Jean de once per round. Don't shuffle too loudly. Such. Yeah, they don't show. So this is another character of the, the papal army here that's going to let Josh get a little bit feisty with his tactics. You say papal, I think papal. Papal, papal. No, it should be papal. You're right. So once per round, if you've one legend, uh, search for the legend card of your choice in the deck. Do you want, can, I, can I share it with the people at home? Uh, sure. But I don't want. Of your choice. Okay, okay. I, won't, I, won't, I won't look. Oh, wow. All right. You guys might not be able to read the small text on that. but Is this right. the. Is, let me guess. <laughs> Shall I use my psychic powers? <laughs> I am the devil. I can see through. I can see through psychic powers. Is this one that stops me moving with the character? Would it be that one again? I can be, neither confirm nor deny. I can neither confirm nor deny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a very naughty card in that deck that stops you from being able to do anything. And it's expensive, got, though. When like you've got big guys like him, it's a really good card. But that's all right. It costs him loads of stuff. It's so I'm know. actually going to play an order now. Okay. I've, got to, I've got to order. play at least yeah, one. You have to play at least one. It is your. T you are supposed. I to do kind of want to save some for when I've got my entire army well, of reinforcements. You've got turn four. Up. You've already got more than I have. Yeah. What are you thinking? Just give a quick overview of the board, right? So you've got the de you've got the devil mm -hmm. on this side. You've got a whole pack of wolves, flying Bunch devils, demonic region over here. There's kind of mixed there. bag there, mixed bag there, and then there's one little unit of heretics, kind of lonely, over by your foot knights. What, what your, yeah. what's your thoughts? I, I'm, I'm honestly thinking of attacking the heretics with my foot knights. It seems like the best thing I can do here. Uh, through experience, I know that the culverin isn't going to do anything to it. It pushes this. a lot, right? It yeah. Just, yeah. Um, he's got a lot of defense results there, and I might give him some extra legend tokens mm -hmm. uh, because of the demand. Well, attacking legion. them might give me legend tokens because they get the if they roll a blank, then they get a legend token. Ah, uh, you'll just roll push results. It's fine. Um, <laughs> That's absolutely possible. The archers can only really shoot the devil, and he starts off with two shields on his defense roll, and I've only got four dice there, so. Until things become a little bit more scattered, which I'm hoping they will as he tries to search the buildings, yeah. it's not particularly good You're for me to shoot things. things. Okay. But uh, I may as well see if I can get rid of those heretics. So two foot knights attacking foot knights into an area just with heretics. Yeah, that so that's, that's <laughs> an awful lot of... So oh. foot knights have two reds by uh -huh. default, so we'll be swinging in with four red. We'll grab our dice from our handy super nice x-rays. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't think there's anything else going on. Uh, trees don't make a difference to melee. So... So the attack from Josh is, bring your arm down Josh, there we go. That's <laughs> one disrupt and three pushes. Wow, not actually. I'm not dead. Not actually. I mean you might be. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll keep it as is. Keep it as is? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, oh, I got the blank. I got the so blank. I, I got the blank, so I get a, a legend point. Mm. Legend token, which is, given, the, done, given that they're on their own, is probably as much as you could hope for. Oops. Uh, but no shield, so the disrupt. Uh, no goes shield, through. so the disrupt goes through. So these guys go mm -hmm. to the infirmary mm -hmm. for the moment. It's all right. We'll get better later. Too busy frothing. You can follow up if you wanted to. Uh, well, you, <laughs> you actually potentially have the opportunity to spend two grey cubes to gain an interrupt cube and interrupt if you'd like. Until they can follow up. If they oh, follow up. No, I'm staying with the shrine for sure. What do we could follow up? There's nothing good in those woods. <laughs> <laughs> they were very excited. Uh, I could spend two of these to uh, interrupt you now, but nah, let's okay. carry on. Um, in which case, I guess I'm going to call it there, and I'll hold on. I thought these you might do, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dodgy bunch well, of Very nice. Person. Dodgy bunch of people, folk, can't trust them. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saving He's two command orders, and, so, and I've so got one have, interrupt order. So we can have well. 97 command in the next turn. Oh, Josh. I know what you like. He's prepared. Yeah. Well, I mean, is. this is it. He's, he's waiting, right? So he's going to play the he's defender. No, no, I mean, he is the defender. That's, that's what he should be doing. So, I am going to. So, it's my turn. I don't have 19 special fancy things I can do. <laughs> um, I only have three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, I am going to start by activating this lot over here mm -hmm. and they are going to go one two they're all going to move and this because so they can jump right these guys can jump, jump two, two. Yep. these guys the flying Love demons it. can jump two so they're going to go there yep the wolves can 
run two. Okay, they've got haste two. two. Yeah. So they're going to go there as well. And um, so that's one more base. One more unit can fit in there, right? Uh, no, because it's a whole thing. Eight. Oh, it's right, a single, yeah, yeah, sure. it's a I thought it was split in no, half. No, 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 that one isn't. That's that, yeah, that, sure. these, most of them are split in half, but that yeah. one isn't. So that's that size two, so you've got six units can get in there. So two more. Yeah, yeah that's fine, because these go one, and then when they go one, they, well, actually, they're all going to just bring them with them. They're not going to use their special ability. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I might play an interrupt. Are you going to interrupt? So this is yeah. the point, so with 1.5 rules, now, when you have the person, your opponent, complete an order, you have the opportunity to play interrupt order. You also have the potential to play a legend card, and you also have the potential to play uh, intrigue powers. And these are all things that Josh actually currently has available to him. You could do any one of those three things. Yeah. Um, so it's very really important to know that you give them that time. Um, if there's specific intrigue powers or legend cards that have timing, like when attacking, when defending and such, then they're still played at that timing. But otherwise, they're now played like interrupt order, something we cleaned up in the timing structure of 1.5. Go on then. Uh, the cauldron's going to interrupt. You're going to shoot and that. And fire at the demonic lady. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Awesome. I kind of thought Let's that was see that. the war so That is three yellow that's dice. Why, that's why I left both of them in yeah. there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so three yellows and blanks become pushes. And blanks two, become two pushes. There's two blanks yeah. on this. Yeah. Three yellows? Three yellows. Right. And what have we got defense-wise? Two yellows apiece? Four yellows, yeah. Four yellows. In so place. that is three pushes. Three pushes, okay. Well, I can remember So that. there's what, one shield on the yellow dice? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. You could, this is possible. Not terribly likely, is it? There's one shield, so I get two pushes, but I also get uh, another legend, legend point, token. I think, because they get, when defending, mm -hmm. they get a. All oh, the legend tokens are flowing. So, and you that's choose really the, what I'm wanting, is there? You choose two units to take pushes. Um, <laughs> there is only two units in the area, then, just for clarity. Go on then. Uh, that one and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's for, have. Those For sake of teaching there. you guys the rules, they're just having a laugh. There are I'm two pushes and two units. <laughs> yeah, two pushes and two units. So they have got, no choice. They're going, they're going, they're going yeah. to go to. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So that one's gone back where we started, and this one's gone over here. Okay. Um, your interrupt order will then come off. Yeah, yeah. your interrupt order then comes no, off. No, I had more. I could play more into that. No, we could not play right more now. interrupt orders, but you could play another intrigue action oh, or another now. legend. I mean, yeah. again, during your Oh, turn. absolutely. Yeah. So do you want an intrigue or legend card before you pass the. I'm okay. Initiative back to Jake. All right, Jake, back to you. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Devil. Mr. Yeah. Devil is on the move. Mr. Devil is on the move, and so well, I'm not necessarily as, well, you, as you mentioned actually later. Actually, him, and he is going. He has things he can do. So um, the uh, first thing I'm, I'm sure going to do. The devil on that camera. The devil's up here. <laughs> first thing, first thing, I'm I, sure he's first thing I can do is uh, when I have troop units. Uh, next to a building, I can uh, spend a, it's a scenario special rule, I can spend a uh, legend cup token mm -hmm. to see if the Pope is in there. So, so you um, is well. the Pope in there? I've got people in here, so I could either do it there or there. Uh, they're not in the area adjacent though, so this would be the area adjacent to the building, I would assume. That's the, uh, uh, this is a, it's not adjacent to the interior, that's uh, adjacent to that Perfect, area. perfect, perfect. All, All right. right. So I, I could do either of these, so I'm going to ask if it is, is the Pope, please sir, is the Pope in the, the church? church? Oh, he's building the tension. He's building it, and it's behind his elbow. We're not going to see it. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. He no. knew you would check the church he first. Of course, church. you would check the church first. I didn't check the church last oh. first last time. So I was. Just, anyway, so that was one thing. That was one thing. Yeah, mind games. Yeah. That was one thing. <laughs> so what can we, what can we do next? Well, we also have our party trick of uh, corrupting. Yep. One of the uh, one of the people. And so again, this is the devil's special ability. The devil's special ability. Uh, I get to roll one black dice. Yeah, we're looking for. And it, yeah. if I get a shield, I get to corrupt somebody, uh, a, a troop unit who is adjacent to um, one of my troop units. Yep. So. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, what do, which one are you taking? Ah, that's a very good question. So, and then I just pull them into my area, or I take. Yep. So, oh, that is interesting. So we could take, uh, so I could take, because they're adjacent as well. So I'm going to have a halberdier. Okay. From here, and so the halberdier then moves out of there because you kind of mix yep. nationalities in there. And I will have this halberdier. <laughs> the unholy and the holy nationality. Yep. I'm going to pop I the white faction off. is the. Uh, there you go. Have that. I'll give that back. <laughs> You're going to have that one. 
Just on the X-Trades, we did think about putting the X-Trades on the campaign or on the pledge manager. Because they're open for pre-order now, they will deliver quite a bit before we actually deliver. Um, so the best thing we can tell you to do, Noah might be in the chat if he still is, actually send a link and you can check out on the Game Trades website and pre-order them. Because um, you'll get them way before we get you the deluxe storage box in around a year's time. So there's something you can use right now and, and use it for your storage now. So yeah, we didn't put them on the campaign for that reason. But they are handy dandy. Handy dandy. Um, so that was the other, that was the second thing that he did that was uh, interesting. Uh, he can now, he could move, but he'll get to that in a minute. He's going to use yeah. his command skill. Uh, and his command skill, because of where he is, one, two, three, four, five, which is ridiculously huge, enormous, and probably the biggest in the game. Yep, but command won't range, reach them. But won't <laughs> reach them. So luckily, he could move beforehand if you wanted he to. He could move beforehand. Um, and if he's flying up here, I think he's going to move from the sky. Yeah, he is. Oh, going to command from the sky! I love it. Um, but uh, for the moment, he's actually just going to—he wants to command these guys anyway. So uh, he's going to command uh, the new boys and uh, the two flying demons. Yep. Uh, that's one, two, three, and oh, I tell you what, I didn't do. I didn't put my rally point on. Rally yeah, point I thought we'd be going there. Um, and one, two, That's three, right, three. Brett. Literally commanding by the devil. So we've had the Pope search the church. I'm going to do uh, four, five. I'm just going to command that lot. We've had the halberdiers okay. basically summoned by the devil, and now he's commanding all five of these units. So commanding these units, uh, and they are going to attack. And Into what? Halberdiers, and I'm going to put those two into him and those three into that. Wow. Okay. Okay, so which one do I do first? So I will do the wolves and the one lot of wolves and one lot of flying demons into the culverin, which is a yellow and a red. Oh, for that demons. smiley emoji to complete your regular day. <laughs> and so the dogs a white and a yellow. So I've got to roll these separately because if I get a, a blank on this yellow, yep. then I get more legend. It, a legend point. Okay, so this is the flying demons first. Oops, missed. So that's not a blank, it's a push and a disrupt. So we'll okay. finish off the roll with the Wolfs. We don't have any special fancy things, they're the ones who get the blanks, so but they get a disrupt as well. I'm so definitely getting disrupted then, because so I only roll one black defense die. You got one, one defense die. It's a shield. So it stops, cancels that. So you've got a, a, disrupt. a, a disrupt. So, mm -hmm. so the well, will go on it, is, it is a war machine. So essentially yeah. what will happen is, you'll end up with one of the units being disrupted, and he'll get taken away. This is with the new the new 1.5 okay. rules. So uh, new, he's going to go. I hope I get this right because it's changed. And then he will be pushed. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So well, which I very much hope I'm still getting that right because I'm still coming uh, coming up to grips with the, the new siege rules. That's interesting. Um, so essentially, your your artillery men are acting I'm like like man. hit points essentially, and they could we'll potentially come back. It. If Leo's in the chat, Leo, you can keep me right. Yeah. Put him there. And if okay. he rallies, he will go back to there. But if you take that next one out, that essentially is it. Okay. Right. So that was that. That was that attack. And then the other attack, the other direction, is um, one of. I should have kept those. So it's uh, rolling these separately because of the legend token again. So not the legend token, but two two things. And then we've got a wolf and. What's the <laughs> what I, the uh, ones I borrowed from you? The the is, uh, just <laughs> normally just one white, but because they're attacking against infantry, they get another white. Hooray! <laughs> I love using your own forces against you. So that's uh, only one more disrupt from that pile of dice. So I've got oh. a kill, a disrupt, a push, and that's the results I've got. And then I've got some things that don't count. Are you so leaving the roll as is? Uh, yes, I'm not burning my re-roll on that. In so. which case, may I have two white dice to roll my defense? Thank you. So this is to the two bowmen. Oh, Whoa! Well, that's okay. Um, that'll be so you get a one push. push then. One push. My word. That was good rolling. My good word. Good rolling, Tex. Um, uh, I want those ones to get pushed. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Okay. Seems strong. <laughs> <laughs> Seems strong. Okay, well, they can go there. And then, having done all the various naughtiness he can without actually doing anything himself, the devil is going to move. 
Well, we'll leave behind his uh, order, order, his command. He's going to go there. The fly, fly high. And that counts as being in all three of these areas. That is my understanding. Uh, I don't so think the, it's going to really matter. I yeah, doubt anything's going to move there. So now, the devil is now officially not just off the side, but actually in the sky. He's in the sky. Yeah. Awesome. He is okay. in the sky. All right. So. So leaving you with three legend tokens and one command order. Right? You give me one command order left and one, two, three legend okay. tokens, which is fine because I, I, I didn't get through that many in the cell. Two, two a turn is about my my limit mm -hmm. um, and what else can we do I could you see one of the last thing I'm thinking of if I if I order the, him now because there hasn't been an auto action cube mm -hmm. in, in here um, I could do my gigantic attack from the sky mm -hmm. oh. which is kind of amusing yeah yeah it's, it's like the Monty Python foot coming down <laughs> and stomping <laughs> on people um, and I've got I can pick you know pick a hex to stamp on but these guys have got retaliate and they're a bit nasty I think I think I'll just leave it for the moment I'll save that for next time okay I'll save that for next time I can't use my uh, I could do the command again actually that would be another thing I do I could order him do a stomp and a command which would kind of beat up most of the guys who are on the table at the moment but Josh has got two two cubes saved I don't want to have that much difference in what we get yeah, next sure. turn so I'm gonna I'm going to save that. So that's the end. So, so we have. So end of round one, we checked the church. We didn't find the pope. We managed to convert some halberdiers. We thunked a lot of things, which has weakened the culverine and split up some bowmen. We lost some heretics to the infirmary, but other than that, not too much. Kind of, kind of civil enough. Yeah, halberdiers are yours, man. Awesome. All right, that's pretty. That's good. Cool. Pretty I'll, substantial. Because it's a big swing. Because you're not just taking away from the opponent, yeah, but you're bolstering yourself to me at the same as well. time. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. So Doom Dice, who wants Doom to go first? Uh, and can. first player. First player. All right. First player goes first. So this is for your Culverine's uh, crew. Is and he rallies straight on the best, right? He will, if you do rally him. Which you do. Wow. So, there we so go. essentially the crew will take any kills or disrupt rolls um, for the, the Culverine itself. Cool. So I have my Heretics to roll for. Yeah, so Heretics. And when we played this last time, I rolled three in a row, or was it four in a row? Dead, uh, I yeah, can't it was remember. three it. in a row. Yeah. There we go. So again. Dead again. Wow. That <laughs> gives me an experience. Part. I do not get on with this with this doom dice at all. Yeah, the way we look at it is they, they, they were probably dead anyway, the doom dice just gives them a chance, right? Just yeah, gives them a chance. Yeah. Dead, when two yeah. units of foot knights storm you and you're having Poor a little heretic guy. dance in the forest, you're probably in You trouble. can still bring the heretics back. I can bring them back if I get a, if I get an intrigue point. How do I get entry points? Oh, uh, I by control controlling those things. this oh, area, right. this I area, this things. area. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, we could have followed up into the well. That would have been good. And obviously, I in, in, in a lot of scenarios, you can, can do it by uh, talking to NPCs. But yeah. the devil's not very chatty. I can, I don't know. Whispered a lot oh. to these guys. Someone may have to translate for me as Sir YouTube. Uh, yeah, YouTube does seem bugged, unfortunately. At my end, it does say YouTube is still working, but unfortunately, it may have to be. It says I've got 62 video viewers on YouTube right now. Uh, not sure. Anywho, right, round two? Uh, round two. So, so first off in like round two is my, uh, some Nautilus. of my reinforcements coming back. Oh, April, okay. April Nautilus. So, so at round, top of round two, I can bring on two of my reinforcement units mm -hmm. in any area that's about any free area or like allied on area that's on the edge. Mm -hmm. So who's coming on and where are they going? I think it's going to be some nice. Can they get it seems like it might be the Go best. Go for it. Yeah, for sure. There are only two knights, mounted knights, in yeah, the two uh, reinforcements. Fresh so this is troops all of them. To convert. Fresh troops to convert. I hope not. Uh, so let's bring them on here. Ah, I thought it, it seems where need is the greatest. Yeah. And at the start of the war council phase, I'm going to gain uh, one intrigue token from the shrine. Mm -hmm. And one, and from the one legend token. From the uh, cloister. Okay, rooms. so one Love intrigue it. token because that's the last one to mm -hmm. summon the angel. Just before we go, oh, yeah, we, this is all war council. It's it's right? the start it's of war council. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah, do the, need the, a round card. Start, yeah. yeah, so so, so round two will we'll present this? us with. Yeah, so we get four command orders. Four. Is that on the camera. Yeah, there you go. That one. So four. There you go. Your Thank four. you. You got your four. I don't mind me getting four, but I do object to Josh getting four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Wall Council cards. Okay, so we have, uh, I'll just grab them all here. Oh. Okay, some interesting stuff. So we have an interrupt order mm. by the Devil's God. He's not there anymore. We have heal a wound or gain a charge order. Or we have move your rally point and rally one allied unit or gain a charge order. Um, and for clarity's sake, we're going to be changing some of the uh, cards in the game that let you move things to essentially limit them to, to allied areas. That way you're not moving them way off behind enemy lines. So we're going to play with that rule in this case. So it's an interrupt, a charge or a heal or charge and move your rally point, or, or move your rally point. So what do you fancy? I actually think I'm going to take the interrupt. Seems legit. Even though you just brought on some mounted Kinnigas. Yeah, but they're already right next to stuff, so a charge doesn't seem completely necessary. Cool, all right. You can save them. Yeah, well I, I, save the I, I don't have anything that's wounded. I can't charge because I'm going to be the charges. Neither do you have I, don't to rally. To, I don't need yeah. anything rally point, so I'm pretty much yep. blue cubes me. I think well. that one's reasonably clear for you yep. both. That one's um, straightforward. Then at the start of my turn, shenanigans. Yeah, I'm yep. the Inquisitor's yeah. going to roll a black die <laughs> and see if I can get one of those card, uh, one of those tokens oh. off you. Um, and I can this yep, time. You can this time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, he's ever so good, isn't he? He's got so many tokens. Four and then I think I'm going to spend one. Three to search the deck. The whole one to take another card of mm. his choice from the deck. This is good. Outrageous. It's, 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 so it's, it's giving Josh a lot of tactical, a lot of player kind of there's initiative lot, to kind of say. There's a lot of stuff he can do. Yeah, yeah. What, what do I want? What situation do I want to avoid? And giving him a lot of answers to whatever Jake can throw at him, which I think is, is really cool here. This this is quite a, a high skill level uh, faction that, that Josh is playing with. Apart from the table, He's got I mean. a lot of characters. He's got a lot of characters, a lot of different kinds of units. There's lots going right, on. Jake, don't look. Ooh. And then again, this text is quite small, so sorry, folks at home. You might not be able to see all of I'm this. I'm planning something for next time. Oh, look at it. Listen to him. You love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. I'm going to read it myself. Well, I think next turn we've got an angel if it doesn't come oh, this Oh, holy moly. Well, see, this is the thing I'm worried about because I'm going to spend four intrigue yep, to holy. bring Gabriel up in the sky, but I'm a bit worried about. Well, you won't be able to play an interrupt until after I've had an activation, right? Mm -hmm. So you're triggering your one time yep. divine intervention yep. to summon Gabriel mm -hmm. into the sky next to the devil? Yep. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> oh, it's, okay. it's happening. They fought before a very long time ago and it didn't end very Oh, long. look at this. Turn yes, around. turn it round. Oh, I can't. get your tail out of the extra devil. The, tail, <laughs> get your tail out of the dice. Oh, it's happening. I'm just going to hit you with this cathedral. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't set up a camera for this. <laughs> I wasn't quite prepared for this. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to pop a command order straight into his area. So how many wounds does the devil have? Fourteen. Fourteen? At the moment. Uh, red dice does Gabriel. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to move Gabriel to here. I have three no. red dice. Oh. Oh. He's going to join the charge. Oh. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> um, and then I have got command on that, but I'm pretty sure everyone's too far away. It's one hex. I'm going to share the vote again to see if everyone abandons Everyone is too far away, yeah. Everyone's too far away. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Like, uh, Yay, the angel's here to like fight the devil interrupt? in the sky. Would I like to interrupt? That is a very interesting thing. Would I like to interrupt? Oh, this is an interesting board date for an interrupt. So devil's in the sky. Devil's in the sky. Devil Devil is quite tempted to interrupt, actually. Oh, my God. Um, because the devil could stomp on that lot before they actually go in to chew on my mates. And potentially. I don't want to. We don't want to oh, I'm going to stay. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep my unholy... Tendencies at bay, and it's important that with an interrupt order, he won't be able to command. He won't be able to command. It's not a command yep. order. Yep. Huge change. Yeah. Huge yep. change. Because yep. right now, if Jake was to command like the previous 1.0, you, you'd almost certainly be having a massive attack here, and the mm -hmm. devil could follow up. But now, you have to just think of it as a non-command single area activation. Ababa, what did you miss? Start of round two. Archangel St. Michael appeared. No, St. Gabriel, Gabriel appeared, sorry. Um, appeared in the sky beside the devil. And, and it away. went, Yong. <laughs> and the devil's away. now thinking, will I chase after him? Is essentially what's happening. He's got the bodyguard skill. He protects, he doesn't attack. He's a big Jesse. He does have retaliation, 
which is scary. He doesn't, sadly. Oh, he doesn't? No, no. Oh, no, what else is no, what's his keywords? He's got bodyguard and jump two, and then if I manage to level him up, he gains carrier and terror two. But oh. if he gets punched by heretics, he'll lose that, of course. Oh, what's going to happen? I'm oh. going to do this. Kay. Okay. And I'm going to retire. Use them. Mm. The devil's going to hold his turn. The devil's going to, oh, he's like, where do they go? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There was a little white guy here a minute ago. Like, big white robes, fully giving. It's like and he's disappeared. So you're gonna head so at them or away from they're them? They're gonna go at them. Awesome. He's gonna attack them. Cool. And so, so I actually get the benefit of the wall here then. Yep. You will. Um, so I get to attack, and that is one well, two units of them. So I need another red dice. So these are the ones who, if they get. Uh, a yellow is a blank, then uh, I have to roll them separately because I have a special roll again. So these oh. are for the flying demons? These right? are the flying demons, yeah. Um, so that's not amazing, but it's a start. And then I will roll the wolves, two units of wolves, and who else is there? Oh yeah, and they roll, they're rolling one... The one halberdies are only rolling one die because, because, because I have then, cavalry yeah, and flying. They're not, ah, no infantry. infantry. <laughs> no infantry, yep. <laughs> Uh, so that is a number of disrupts. Oh, mm. so before it goes to the defender, do you want to reroll anything? We're currently sitting on one kill, three disrupts, two pushes. Wowie. So, should I put this? Is there a camera you want to No, show? you're fine there. Here has it. There's a, so, um, and what are you rolling in defense before I decide four, whether. Four, um, four, black. four black dice. And what, what is the bonus from the wall again? Is it a reroll? The so, the, walls, the wall has changed slightly in 1.5. I actually brought it up just to make sure I got it. So, when defending against melee attacks, you add one shield result to your total defense roll. Oh, oh, so, the kill is gone already. Kill is gone um, already. And attacking oh, units, oh. of course, still cannot follow up after combat. That has remained the same. So, yeah, Jack, what are you thinking? Uh, do I want to use my reroll here on this? It is sad seeing two white dice and a red dice not doing anything. The yellow so dice are red. It's mm. actually interesting because I can't remember which one. I've mixed them up now, so I'll have to not. For which one was theirs? Oh, I can't remember either. Can't remember either. I honestly think it was one of each. Okay, well, I'll go one of each. Go. Um, I'm going to reroll. I am going to reroll. I'm going to reroll, and I will reroll. So I get one of these, one of the uh, yellows. First yellow will be if it's a blank yeah. again. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the flying Oop. devils. Just, just wrong. <laughs> Not helpfully wrong, but just wrong. So that's a brilliant, a brilliant, brilliant defensive roll. Three shields. Oh, <laughs> what a reroll token used for essentially three shields? No, a reroll token to make it worse. Oh. Never mind, never mind. Uh, All right. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I'm still going to have a sad. It's time. still a bit um, awkward, but you know, okay. so you get a free a free, free shield, shield automatically. And then so we're getting two, two, two black you. dice, okay. yeah. two black dice from, from Gabriel. Gabriel and two more from the two units of mountain dice, yep. uh, mountain knights. Love so they can all work together because they've got no special rules that apply to um, Gabriel. Only a special rule that applies to attack. Okay, okay. Uh, that is four shields. What? Uh, uh, which I shan't Anyone re cares to do the stats on my luck in this game? <laughs> That's grim. Dead, four shields, rubbish re-rolls. Yeah. That was a rubbish, yeah, that was rubbish. Um, oh, brutal. So, so nothing, was, no legend was tokens. complete waste of a cube. Again, I didn't oh think dear. it would go quite as well as that. That. Yep. Go on then, you'll go. So, I think next I'm actually going to activate the culvert because I believe it can shoot into this X. Uh, yeah, because it can be you know on the other side of the building. Yeah. So, um, and that isn't a building. That's no, a train element, element, so it doesn't yeah. block it. So, yeah. Okay, well, I don't think it'll do anything, but I did just want a little chance at softening those guys up. Could I have okay. three of the yellow dice, please? Three yeah. yellow dice. It might push one thing. It might. It Where might. are you taking from here again? Sorry. Just, uh, yeah. Oops, sorry. I'll take them into here. Yep. So who's they going there? I've got. Uh, so that is oh, a shield. That's the worst thing to roll. Um, that's just a disrupt and a push then. A disrupt and a push. So I've got to get rid of a disrupt and a push. Baz says, what? Lol. Four shields. Lol. Wow. I <laughs> think that it. sums it up pretty fairly. <laughs> so My chat's a little bit buggy, guys. Sorry if I'm not seeing Oops, too sorry, many of your messages. Right, I need sorry, less defense. I've got one, two, two black dice, two yellow dice. I want to use your yellow dice. Um, sorry, two yellow dice for the wolves. And what do they get in defense? Um, they get a white and a red. 
Nice. Okay. I roll with this. retaliation? Roll with retaliation. But this isn't retaliation. ranged attack, right? Oh, yes, of course it is. Oh, yes, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah. So I've got one shield. Ah, geez, so geez. that's a push goes through then. Yeah. So you manage four shields on four dice, I manage one shield on four. Well, his were black, right? Black dice are 50 50. Some, You're some of his reds. were black. One and six. Right. Uh, yeah, one of the. Um, Wolf we got one of the wolves. Yeah, one of the wolves. Mm -hmm. Would you like to interrupt? Uh, Mike Foy suggesting that you might have Camel Cans dice the James Bond villain from Octopussy. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, normally I couldn't interrupt because I haven't got a cube, but the devil's special rule is that any time I may spend two of these uh, normal grey cubes to buy a blue one. Mm -hmm. So that's why Josh is asking, in case you were wondering. It could always happen. Uh, so I could do that, but no, I don't think I will. Because okay. that attack was such a complete waste of time, and it's only going to make demoralized money. unholy. Armor. Well, it would just eat eat more yep. of my command yep. cubes, and I'll I'll spend them on commanding. So go on, go on, off you go. What are you going to do? I'm going to try and do. Going to march the pope out. Yeah, show us the pope. <laughs> At any time, the cowardly pope can reveal himself. <laughs> I'm going to activate Gabriel and the knights. Of course yep. you are. And it's going to be an attack. Okay. Yep. Uh, and it's going to be an attack in this area. I'm still not confident it'll do very well, especially not over the wall. But oh, I just I f please forgive me. Actually, do you know, I want I want to say it just in case, right? Just in case, because it, I just remembered the rule now, and I forgot to mention it earlier. When you're in a village area with a building, you do oh, yeah. get to reroll one dice on defense. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, do you want to do you want to try and save those wolves that got pushed here? Because technically, you would have had a reroll. Oh, sorry, I'd have a reroll. So I rerolled my black dice that failed. Did it fail? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, one, I yeah. had one success and one fail. Yeah. Out. Let's let's I give it to you. I'm gonna, I, cause, oh, I think well, we'll, we'll it's gonna go inside. <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's gonna go inside there. So it's okay. no. Yeah, that's right. Uh, because but, I was about to say, Josh, that you're you need to remember yeah. that now Jack will have I the walls. I was going to say the gods hate me, but I'm singular. <laughs> <laughs> So you'll have the walls, so you'll get the automatic shield, Jack. Yep. Um, so and you'll one, also benefit from the village area with the so building, which means start with. you get a reroll of one dice yep. on defense. So I've got a shield to start with, and I've got, uh, who have I got? I've got uh, one wolf. And retaliation is yep. almost one doesn't wolf. even seem worth it. And don't, don't forget the, sh the, the well and the shrine and the runes, of course. These are also going to impact these yeah. things. Yep. And who else have I got? Oh, yeah, what's that defense? Not them, the, these guys. Hey, uh, red red, red and white, white red and, white and with retaliation, retaliation, yeah. Okay, which is so scary. Do you want to roll your attack? Lordy, um, that is one Krivins. push and six disrupts. <laughs> okay, so. so <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> four shields out of four, six disrupts <laughs> out of seven. That's, that's actually incredible. I mean, best bit is if there were any kills, he'd just put them on the immortal yeah. units. So, so again, it's, a, it's important to know we're talking about the odds, of course, but on the red dice, there is only one shield. So, you know, this is not completely illogical. And you've. The, oh, the red and white, they're the only retaliation. They're the only red and whites I've got. Yeah. So, one disrupt and retaliation. So, one disrupt retaliation and. Okay. No shields at all. And you've used your reroll. And I've used my reroll. Zero, um, zero shields. I'm going to take the retaliation disrupt as a wound on Gabriel. Okay. Jack did just roll two black dice, a yellow dice, a white dice, and a red dice. And Again, didn't no see a shield. single shield. <laughs> I can't follow up over the wall, though. Nope. Okay. So the one so shield kills a disrupt, uh, right? It, the, the All one, of these guys. Oh, sorry, the one shield from the wall kills uh, one of your Yeah, yeah, one of my yeah. disrupts, yeah. Yeah, and then the, yeah. Other, the other six. Five disrupts. The other five disrupts against the four things I have there disrupt everything wow. in that area. And I gain two experience points every time a flying demon unit is disrupted because of them all. So you get yeah. four. <laughs> Which wow. means I'm going to be able to level Gabriel, actually. This is the chance for the heretic's ability to shine, Jack. The heretic come back, <laughs> hit Gabriel, and level him down. Um, yeah. And when can, when can I do that level? Is it still a bonus action? It is a bonus action, yeah. Can I do it as part of that same activation? Or um, would I announce it before? Yeah, I think I so. I think you can do each bonus yeah. action once. But you can't do the same bonus action, bonus action twice. Technically, this is still his activation, so I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In which case, I'll uh, take a level up on it. Yeah. Oh, Stu's little boy Henry says, Go, Josh. Thank you. I don't think Josh needs any support <laughs> the way he's rolling tonight. It's all right. I think he's fine. And then, can I still command? You can indeed, yeah. Well, um, what is your command? It's two now 2 2. Two. Yep. 
but only for whole units, which everyone is. So two hexes, two units from um, Gabriel himself. But as, as Josh pushed out, the wall makes such a big difference because this area has now been activated. And because Josh, even though he cleared out the area, he could not follow up, which means this area is now locked down without another way of getting those yeah. units commanded or no, a reactivation order. No so it's, it's, the walls really can buy you an entire round when you're defending. Um, very important. I think I'd actually just quite like these I artists to as reform as ranks with the friends. Yeah. Consolation for having my entire unit massacred. Yeah, uh, th that was rough, indeed. Would um, you like to interrupt, Jeff? Two zero in, uh, to, uh, with what? Okay. <laughs> um, I'll activate the archers, mm -hmm. and I'll shoot those wolves. Mm -hmm. And because oh, there's a wolfies. tree there, he'll get a reroll on defense? He will indeed. Okay, so I need four yellow dice, please. So if you're in a forest with a tree, when defending, you may reroll one dice, and direct shooting may reach the area, but not pass through it. Um, and these yellow dice change the shields the into disrupts. Of course they do. Damn uh, So that is a shield and disrupt. The shield turn disrupt. Sorry, it's two disrupts. He can uh, he can't roll two. Does he not have? He's got one dice. All right. Okay. Disrupt the roll fee. So In fact, I'll keep a few yellows here because I do. He can't. He effect. can't roll two two shields on one dice. Doesn't he have dodge? Oh, he does. But I don't know what it does. What's it does? Uh, oh, hold on. What's the range? I, think I dodge, don't think dodge I think is going to. Uh, so what dodge does? What dodge um, is melee? Right? I, oh, I've got to correct myself. Now. Yeah, I think, I think you might be right. Actually, so yeah, dodge is when defending. When defending, just generally, if a unit with dodge rolls okay. a blank result, it may immediately move to an adjacent free or allied area of the defender's choice. This move occurs before the attack is resolved. Okay. Um, so, but you still be, actually going to help. You would actually get them because essentially you're choosing to attack an area. So when you choose to attack, you're not attacking a unit, you're attacking an area. So if you actually leave the area, you will not suffer. You're not oh, the allocated okay. And dice. I attack that tree. So and the tree would get... So and after all the blank. You're looking for a blank to see if the puppies. No, I will push. <laughs> Why would I roll a blank? Why would I roll anything I actually need? <laughs> <laughs> Repent your sins, Jack. Clearly I it's... <laughs> too late. <laughs> Kyle says, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to hold on to the rest of my cubes because I've got an army turning up next turn. So Yeah, and I haven't. <laughs> Pleasant things for you to convert. It's all fine. So grab okay, all your so cubes. Cubes, you... cubes come off. Mm -hmm. So two command orders and an interrupt order kept back for Josh. And when ah, the papal reinforcements yuck. turn up, they bring another command cube with them. Because why not? I've been I was horrifically lucky in that. Because the Holy, Holy Army, army doesn't needs all the help it can get. We, we've got five rounds to pull this back. Jeff. We've got it. To so fair, you if you do find the pup, you won't take much to take out. Right, so are you done? Mm -hmm. Right. I so was going to say it's time to do this now, but I'm No, no, you get, you get a turn. <laughs> I get a turn, but I feel like this is my turn. It's actually trying to rally it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I actually have a bunch of cubes. That's quite cool. So I have that. So the. So right but now I don't just have the, the forces I actually sent forward are all. Yeah, so Jake has some demonic legions so here and there, and then down the very bottom. There, and that's yep. it. That's all I've got left. So plus, of course. Yeah, there's a small matter of uh, Lucifer, and Lou, Lucy in the sky there. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's calling. Says you're calling on God to fix these dice rolls. <laughs> Andrew says clever of Jake to lure Josh into a false sense of security. Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's falling into my trap nicely. So. We know the Pope isn't in the church, where he should be. So he's hiding in one of the hovels. Look, we right? know Josh, right? He's he's got to put him in the place that's I'm, I'm sure it's right? over there, yeah. We, or, or he's bamboozled you and put him in the big house closest to you, thinking you'd how never search it. How many structure points does that building have? I think it's, it's, it's is a it lot. Two, so right? the small one is, is size one, capacity two, resistance two. Are you just going to go and bash the house <laughs> in? <Is that> the <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. It's a possibility. Yeah, there it is, for sure. It's a possibility. But we'll, we'll wait and see where, um, where everybody else comes on. So uh, I will... Hmm. Hey, uh, so, it's a bit difficult. There's a blinking angel sitting in the middle of that. That's yep. a bit awkward. Yeah, the angel, the footnights retaliation, the bowmen, they're all, they're all spread out, but they're all quite vicious in different ways. Yep. So we will... Josh is holding two legend cars and three legend 
tokens as well, plus an interrupt, which means Jack's first order needs to be meaningful in case J Josh decides to interrupt immediately. So there's a lot to think about. For so the I'm going to order this lot yep. mm -hmm. over in the corner, all the way down. Um, this is a split the area. There's, a, there's two, it's two areas, there's not one. Uh, you can, the minutes are sort of covering up the border. So I've got a lot of stuff that moves two, and these poor little guys who only move one. So they're going to move, they're all going to move. Yeah. So, he, so here's for the rules, let's then move two, and the... And the jump two moves. The flying demons yeah, jump. Yeah, the flying demons jump. So uh, the guys that move two are going to go one, two, into here. And the legion are going to follow them slightly slower. What's the uh, defense dice look on that group there? This group here. Uh -huh. Uh, the defense dice is one black and three yellow. Three yellow, and you'd get a reroll from there. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've there's an interrupt coming. I think I'll interrupt with the cauldron. And okay. Uh, give them a volley. I'll turn them around. <laughs> Stick them there. Buildings are great; they move everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So this this is this chap's looking out the windows. He's because he's in that building. Remember. Uh, they count as pushes, uh, so that is pushes? the blanks. Right, so, so the, that's, that's two pushes, two and, pushes a and a disrupt. Uh -huh. And so what did I say? I had I one black from the flying demon and three yellows from the wolf. But don't forget dodge. Don't forget dodge. So if you roll what a blank, blanks on the yellows. Blanks on the yellows. The dogs can yep. immediately, immediately move to an adjacent for your allied area. So that's, that's dodging. Uh, zero shields, okay. of course, but two of the dogs can dodge. So yep. two of the dogs. Do I really want to split them up this much, or do I want to just let them get? Do they get two pushback and a disrupt? Uh, so those two dogs are going to, oops, to a headstand, go over there, mm -hmm. and then the wolf gets disrupted, cool. and he gets pushed. Mm. Pick a place. Okay. Okay. Um, the cube goes. Yeah. <coughs> so that was an interrupt from Josh, just on the Wolverine on the run. And so we are now going to one, two. What are we going to do now? The devil can command them all to get them back together, right? So he could break uh, them up for you. Not quite. Well, I could put them all back where they were. Yes, I could command yeah. them to go all back where they were. Um, so that would burn one of his activations, burn one of my activations, but I'm going to guy in the process, so it's kind of a net loss, but only marginally. I'm just thinking whether I can get these guys in, these legion in, to join in. Um, before we do that, before we do that, let's activate the devil. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to play a card. Oh! So I'm going to play paralysis. So this and is I'll the card. I choose one unit in the hex you've just activated. Um, I'll choose the devil. Mm -hmm. So this one, as uh, normally as we mentioned, the legend cards will be specific and uh, between his interrupt orders. But this says immediately after an opposing player plays an order into an area, well, I knew it was coming. Uh, yeah, choose yeah. an but enemy unit to. in that yep, area. Yep, yep, yep. This unit cannot perform any action. It costs no, three we, legend. We clarified this. This is actions like moving and fighting. He can still yep. do his naughty. Can't tricks do unit actions. actions. You can still do basic actions. Can do, so can this was a card that that Josh used Jean de Metz ability. To spend the legend to go and search the legend deck for a card, prepared it, and then took advantage of the scenario set up to gather some legend quickly and then be able to play it. So Josh has and now we set fire to it. It's gone now. So Josh <laughs> has essentially spent his all four of his intrigue. He's essentially spent all of his legend and his kind of big legend card. Um, although he does have one more legend card, it's still in hand that he also drew up. So he's kind of weakened himself somewhat, but has really stalled Jack very well. And there's more reinforcements coming, right? Yeah. yeah. The Pretty much a full army at the start. Of the oh, okay, right check. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, can't move or fight, but can do his other tricks, which is what I'm about to do. If you're so going to face Josh and Joan of Arc, be prepared for shenanigans. That's all I'm going to say. Uh huh. Oh yes. I wanted to play as the devil. Uh, Ababa says, "Damn, my sister did exact same thing to me. I was so mad." So, 
Your sister should play Josh. One of my uh, one of my uh, legend tokens. Mm -hmm. Don't want to we'll see this happen. Which will buy. So we're looking yeah. for a, this is the devil using his this ability. The devil using his ability. Looking for a shield. Do you have to target the unit beforehand? No. Or just, I so have to just pick it. Uh, yeah, spent on a. On a shield, shield we're going to get a unit. Disrupt. It's, it's a not a shield. Oh. Kelp. Um, so we will try. Can we do that? We might as well. Team Pope's votes have been slowly Actually, rising. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people want to be on the winning side, yeah. don't they? And they've seen how broken the papacy well, is. Team, team the good place is still winning, though. Good, good, good. Well, that means we all win. Yep. So there's still his command to go, right? Uh, there's still his command to go. I'm not going to have a go at guessing whether the Pope's in there or not, because I'm pretty sure he's not, and I want to save my last okay. one for the moment. Um, and I will uh, just command them then. So that is so five, units. five of them, and he's in range of everybody because he's flying. And I'm going to leave them down there. One, two, three, four, five. So it's these five guys uh, flying demons, legion, two wolves, and these legion. <laughs> yes, and the Pope is currently definitely not in the church because check, check the church. So he's definitely what in the small in house, the, the large house, or the walled in large house. He's in one of those three. But Jake's happy to reserve his legend tokens for some of his own shenanigans a little bit. He's not really getting to use them. So Well, I, I've also got, because I've just lost half my army. They could come back. They, they could, could come back. back some are immortal. Not the way I was rolling before, but they, they could come back. But either way, because I have, they're not on the table doing stuff, yep. then that's a lot of ways of generating legends that I don't yep. have. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just keeping that one. You will probably. St Josh will probably uh, steal if you leave that it off there, me. I'll have an opportunity to I mean, steal it. We could, we could see the, the flying turn. demons rattle off an attack on some foot knights and either get a kill or. No, no, no. no, no. Or, or get some legend. Retaliate. They'll just get murdered. They're ranged. They're ranged. They got range one. They have Hits. got a range attack. Oh, they have got range one. And they got a okay. red and a yellow. That could be a dead range foot knight. One, for it, sure. could be, it could be a dead foot knight for sure. The flying but demons don't underestimate. But I've only, yeah, but I've only got one flying demon unit left. But the other two are coming back. They're immortal. They'll be fine. Yeah. They'll be right they'll be, back. They'll be fine. They'll be back some point there. Small house says Simon. They're coming there. I think the small house as well, by the way. Yeah, I think, I think, I think the small house as well, yeah. Absolutely. We just have to work out how to get there. I mean, yeah. the devil can be there in a What is behind the church? You got some one, one unit uh, halberdiers? Uh, yeah, so I've got one unit halberdiers and the uh, the executioner. Oh, executioner. The inquisitor is in inside the church. the church, so he's still adjacent yeah. to the executioner. Which means that the executioner's yellow blanks count as kills, mm -hmm. and the inquisitor can command the executioner are you, only. Are you sure that, that retaliate doesn't work against shooting? Yes, one hundred percent. Okay. As he quickly refers to the rule book, <laughs> as everyone should, um, just to make sure, because always good. Yes, so when defending against melee attacks. Okay, right, cool. Um, pew, so pew, pew, do, when, yeah, pew, pew, pew. Um, yeah, so do I want to try and regroup them there or try and regroup them there? That's the question. Because you could, you could technically have um, an attack here, an attack there, an attack there. That's three different ways to get legend tokens but these, happen. But, but if you just roll a blank, you're... These, you're these guys work on defence. These guys, oh, work, sugar, these guys yeah. get them on defence. Oh. It's only the uh, the demons get it on attack. Mm. So the, these guys um, want to be attacked? Yeah. Not really, yeah. but kind of. Yeah. But um, anyway, so they're just going to run bulldozed by these guys because these guys got silly numbers of dice. Um, that's what happens when you get an archangel fighting. You know, bad things. You've got an archangel as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You just had a trip. You lost Before. his union card though. <laughs> He's gonna fly. He's gonna go there. Okay. And then he's gonna move up there. And yes, Ababa is saying the flying demons are super strong. Key in this scenario. Actually. Let's hope they stay off the table then. Yeah. Once per turn, move one allied, tro allied troop into the Dominic Legion's area. Okay, one of these wolves is going to attack him. Okay. The other ones are going to move there. Mm -hmm. Don't forget they move two if they want to. I know they didn't move yeah. two if they want to. Um, he's going to move there. Okay. And so he's going to do his attack, and then he's going to move. Cool. Uh, so the attack on a wolf is a white and a yellow. So it's not likely to do very much, but you never know. It does absolutely nothing at all, so he doesn't, even need, doesn't even need to roll defense. <laughs> he, he moves there, and then he uses special ability to pull him into that area. 
Very nice. And that was command mm -hmm. of that cube. Nothing else is going to happen, right, because of paralysis. The paralysis stops me from doing anything else with him. Yep. I don't have any yellow cubes to activate them again. So it's really He's powerful. stuck. Really, really yeah. powerful. Um, but I do have some more command cubes if I want to. Uh, not a lot of stuff left on the table. So you could get positions like the well, which would give you tokens at the start of the next turn. Getting rid of the culverine could be good, and also let you check that, maybe. Yep. Um, the other thing I could potentially do is have a poke with poke those part. guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, seems like a, a not very, you know, active, using a cube for one guy yeah. seems like not very much. So I'm going to actually save these three for the next turn. Okay. So we've got a big bunch of doom dice. Let's big get bunch going. Of doom dice. Right. So first player go, oh, none of yours are in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you so start with? I'm going to go. I'm going to put them in order. So I'm going to give them a, a sequence. I'm going to save right, so them. So three units of wolves, two units of flying away. So three units of wolves first. Let's go. So wolf. First wolves are dead. dead. Anything for you? For I that get an experience yeah. point. Second Just wolves are missed. <laughs> Second wolves are rally. Yay! So I come back on here. Oh. And that that area can have six units, right? Yeah, so, so they could fit everybody yeah, if, yeah, we, sure. if we could actually rally. So they come they back on at it. some later date. And then we're into Flying Demons. And kills don't count as disrupts for the Flying Demons because they're immortal. Nope. So, so that, counts that as kill a disrupt. counts as disrupt, which means he stays where he is. Yep. Um, so Second the next demon. one is timed. So I don't get any of them back for at least another turn. Yeah. That's a not good Halberdiers. result. Halberdiers get to rally. Okay. That's, so that's okay. That's two timed. Two rally, one dead, and one's going to have to wait another day. Yeah. So but not only, exactly what you want to see. It's only it's only not more dead because they're immortal. <laughs> so anyway, not great, but all right, we'll live with it. Start because round we three. Have no choice. <laughs> the first one. Take my cubes oh, off. Right. Take the cubes off. Oh, yeah, keep, sure. keep, keep, keep cubes. Mm -hmm. uh, so there any in the sky? Over there. Oops, sorry. No, uh, the one in the sky is gone. Cool. No. All right. Uh, okay. At the top of the round, I need to bring a, a, a new army on the field. Oh, you do word. indeed. You do and indeed. Is this all the rest of your? It's all the rest of his like. stuff. And where is it coming on, Josh? Isn't it? Is it two separate hexes? Isn't it? It has to be in two hexes. In two different hexes. So yeah. at the beginning of the third round, place all remaining units from the available Italian units in two areas at the edge of the game board. Yep. So what? Now I'll scroll up and see what else you have coming in here. So you have potentially some pavaseers, you have a standard bearer and musician, uh, some oh, mounted bowmen, okay. some Genesee crossbowmen. Oh my word! Oh uh, good. Yeah. And here they come. Oh. Right. Same area, please. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So that's two units of mounted bowmen, two units of Genoese crossbowmen. Genoese. I always say it wrong every time. At some point, Leo's going to fly in on his dragon and save the day. Save the day for the unholy army, Kyle, because that's who he's saving right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the standard bearer, the musician. Who's that you've got there? That is. Um, it, it, oh, his first name is certainly Cola. I remember that. Um, one. It I is Cola de Renzo. Cola de Renzo, yes. The, uh, he's the commander of the Italian reinforcements. Here to yeah, see these the guys have come to take me to the Vatican. Yep. Oh. Enormous number of and things. Josh now has to take up all of this space with all his different variations. Yeah, that's why I had it all. Like. If you just give some halberdiers to Jake, he could take the halberdiers. Yeah, you could take the card too. off my yeah. hands, right? Could, yeah. <laughs> cool. So. All right, guys. Get your votes in. <laughs> you know, and gonna we win. also get the points for these, yep. which is going to be one, one two, two to me, yep. which I'm going to take as legend tokens. The two legend, okay. Damn Italians. <laughs> uh, and then what comes with stuff? Yeah. So we'll run card. Let's see how many orders you're each getting. Five. Five. Oh no! Right as his army has arrived. A whole ton of command has just appeared for Josh. Oh, and I actually get an extra one for them turning up from the scenario. Because oh, five isn't enough. Is it time to convert command into interrupt check? So do you want to do, do that? Yeah, give me three and we'll see what our war council cards are. We've got, yeah, we've got three different ones again. Good. If you ever get duplicate war council cards, you always just replace. So we have three experience. Mm -hmm. We have 
two legend cards and one legend token and then discard a legend card mm -hmm. or swap a command order for a charge order the only units in this scenario that have charged the knights right mm -hmm. oh this is as far as I'm aware yeah so I'm going to um, gain two legend cards and a legend token and then choose one to discard. Okay. Love it. So I don't want the uh, experience. We've got nobody to level up. Uh, gain two legend cards and a legend token is interesting. Or swap a command token for a charge, which I can't use. So it's the legend token for me as well, isn't it? So here you go. Here is I'll take a two legend cards and a legend token. Does Slayer work on shooting? Does Slayer work on shooting? What does Slayer uh, do? It means the first kill result you get against a character is counts as two. When attacking, the first kill result assigned to a character from this unit counts as two kill results on the Just defender. attacking. Just when attacking. Self confidence. That. I knew what that was. So you're getting. Oh, see, I can't talk. I want to talk about what you're getting rid of, but I won't. I won't. This does smell bad for the Devil, Vincent. It does smell bad. He's been staying out of the fight. Um, now don't don't forget, the Devil essentially has six rounds. We're on top of the third round now, and has six rounds to wear down um, the the, well, the, the Papal, uh, Papal yeah, Push. Right. The problem is, we've now got a we've got the Culverine still in play. Two units of uh, Genuese. Gen Genuese. Yeah. Damn it, don't Genuese. Want, want Crossbowmen have appeared, and we still have the two units of Longbowmen. Plus, we have a leveled up Archangel Gabriel, which did you pay the upkeep for? I'll do it right now. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so the Devil's Threats... Oh, and you have two units of Mounted Bowmen, which could also dismount. Mm -hmm. These are Almost now a certain. lot of threats, which means the Devil's no longer as safe as he was before in the sky, which is going to start to twist the knife a little bit. Okay. We're all chosen? Yep. We're across to you then, Josh. Yeah, so at the start of my turn, the Inquisitor is going to roll a black die and see if he can take one of those legend tokens. Oh, of course, he's he such a pain in the ass. So we want to see a shield? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. We didn't even need to roll that Josh's much. dice. We just say we well, want to uh, see I it. I failed to do it on turn two. <laughs> yeah, I failed yeah. to do that. There was turn one two. dice. He missed it. <laughs> oh, and I've got another start of turn. Start of my turn, oh. I'm going to choose an area I control. I'll choose this one. Uh -huh. And again, a legend token for each unit I control in that area. So that'll be five more legend tokens. Jesus so well. Josh, just to, to fill anyone in who came in later, Josh used the power of Jean de Metz. He spent one legend token. So once per round, if you spend one legend token, search, the legend, uh, search for a legend card of your choice in the deck. He searched for communion. At the start of your turn, choose an area containing at least one of your units. Gain a number of legend tokens equal to the number of units in that area. So he just stacked himself how many legend tokens do you have now? I have nine. Yeah. Including stealing one. Including the one you stole off me, yes. From Jack. I have one left. Um, I'm going to use Gabriel's ability to look uh, randomly at up to two legend cards in your hand. And now Gabriel Pick is left random. Pick two so at random. George will know what card is coming. OK, that's quite funny. Yeah, I'm hoping you're not going to be we able to... We can share it with the group, because not everybody knows what it is. Can I see? We'll, we'll share it with you guys at home. So, Jake is currently holding self-sacrifice. When you <laughs> declare a melee attack, put X wounds on any attacking character to add X disrupts to your roll. Oh, you're going to put 13 wounds on the devil? <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, and I think I'm going to search for another card as well. Is it not once per round? Uh, that's once per round. I haven't done it yet. Right? We haven't done it? Oh, he yeah. hasn't done it yet. No. Of course he hasn't. Yeah, no, Baz the, the, says something we're all thinking, which is, I'm never going to play against Josh. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, with those dice rolls. He's, uh, he's now looking for the legend card that says, if your name is Josh, I'm win not, the game. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not rolling well, and Josh is rolling well, and that combination And I've is, still got my re-roll. And he's, he's oh. still got his re-roll. So, <laughs> right, Josh, I've been that's obscenely lucky. Let's get moving. This isn't yeah, over. Sure. This, I've got faith in the devil. Well, this is, this is only turn three. Yeah. Is it Start around three. three. So, turn three. I yeah, am turn going three. to... And now next turn, from this uh, from this point on, he doesn't get half an army every turn. Yeah, yeah, this that's very Everything so, that he has so is now there. This is now here. So the blue the blue base rings are the Oops. Italians. The white base rings are the uh, the initial. The uh, holy force, the, the sort of papal bodyguard. Yeah. Um, and then of course the black bases are which you can't um, see. Yeah, <laughs> they're sneaky, sneaky. Um, I'm going to activate that area there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When um, I activate them, the Genoa Genoese. Genoese. Genoese crossbowmen are going to entrench, entrench and change their unit. I can't remember what that means. Uh, so now um, they cannot move and they're destroyed by push results. Okay. Right. Um, but when they're attacking or defending, they gain an extra white die. 
Oh, okay. Wow. Um, so they're now entrenched, and are these guys going to dismount? They're going to dismount. I thought they might. So two units of mounted bowmen will gallop. The horses will gallop up, and the yep. two mounted uh, guys will become uh, three, which we really want the community to come up with a way that that happens. I believe magic. Well-trained horses. Well-trained horses. Nay. That's, that's uh, an old, no. old so sculpt. I want to see an old sculpt archer as the, as the, the, horsey. the horses. <laughs> Okay, so we now <laughs> have two units of bowmen alongside two units of entrenched Genoese crossbowmen. crossbowmen, and yeah. I think they're all going to shoot into the sky. Wow! Uh -huh. Is this where we look across the table at your partner and go, "You're not holding any punches, are you?" <laughs> Josh is like, "Nope, nope." <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, the Devil's Defense is a little bit special for anyone that doesn't know it. Yeah, home, gigantic it creatures do? have fixed defenses. They don't roll dice for defense. They just get a certain number of things. So the the Devil gets uh, two shields and ignores pushes. Okay. That sort of thing. That's the sort of sort of thing you expect from a gigantic creatures. We need to make a mini of a pantomime horse disassembling. Oh, that's good, Simon. That is not, yeah, yeah. Mm. Could I get two white that, dice, that, please? But that would then be too many people. Because you'd have two people in the pantomime horse, one horse and two riders. You'd have four people then. Yeah, one guy's holding the other horse. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. That's fine. I was just wondering if I could have two white dice as well. Please. No, no, you can't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> From these gorgeous X-rays. They call, call what X-rays? X-rays. 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 No. Yes. <laughs> X-rays. I'm actually going to. Mm, we'll try it. I don't think it's a very good time to do it, but I'm going to give one of the uh, crossbowman units so Slayer. So Josh is spending a legend attack. token, so when attacking one of your units gains Slayer until the end of the attack. Shall we roll for those ones first? And Slayer does what again? Uh, Slayer means the first kill result um, inflicts two wounds, and the white dice and red dice both have a kill on it. So okay. in fact, the red dice has two kills mm -hmm. on it. So, so you have to roll him separately then? Yes. Yeah. So he's got an, he's got a shield and a disrupt. Yay! I'll put them on side for the moment. So that is not a kill. So a kill. all of these archers convert the shield. Uh, that's the yellow dice convert the shields into disrupts. Mm. So that's one more disrupt. Okay. So that shield becomes a disrupt. Yeah. Damn bowman. Do I want to re-roll those three? Yeah, go on, let's get a bit greedy. Oh, this is... So, on the um, on the white die here, if it's a kill, it's got Slayer. Okay. Because it was the one rolled by the first. It's not. Uh, nope. They will change into Disrupt, so. So that's three more Disrupts. For a total of one kill and six, uh, seven Disrupts. Wow. So two automatic shields. Yep. We'll stop those two. Stop those two. It leaves us with so I think six, six wounds. wounds. From 14 to... Eat. Oh. Hey, at least that area's been activated. Yeah, and I have no reactivation cubes. Look at the bright oh. side. And now you can just make an interrupt the order. Side? I don't know where the bright side is right now. It's looking pretty grim. Would you like to interrupt? Oh, yeah. So, this is the devil's ability that lets him at any time swap two command orders to get a single interrupt order. Yeah. Oh. Cool. On the devil, okay. Is it a foot from above? It is. Where's so it we're going? gigantic attacking into there, and the devil rolls an extra gigantic dice. Yeah, so I would normally get one because there's one area there, but I get an extra one because I am the devil. Cool. Let's see it. What are we? What are we hoping for? Anything really? Kills. Um, well, if they can't move, if they get a push, they die. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, if I get a trample result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it's an auto push for everybody, yeah, and they totally can't, die, yeah. can't yeah. roll defense dice against the trample. So you're really looking for Which a trample. Which means if I get right? a trample, those two are auto dead, and those two get pushed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that trample's probably what you're after here. So right? trample, That's trample would be nice, but we'll see. So I didn't get a trample. Push or kill. So I get a push or a kill. Well, because you know, yeah. why would I get a trample? So so essentially, what you've got now is one kill result. Or I'm assuming you're taking the kill. Well, I don't know. That is, what are you rolling a defense? You're not um, running, uh, you're all uh, normal, you're two all normal defense against these things. And you're entrenched. Oh, yeah. two blacks, two whites, uh, two blacks, four whites. So two blacks, four whites. 
I mean, so oh. I have to take four kills or their their kills on them if they don't stop. So four kills, yeah, four kills. It's either, it's either four kills or, or two kills, two push. Or two kills, yeah. two push. So you have, yeah. you have to choose one of the dice. I have to to one, of the, one yeah. of the dice to allocate to each area in the, yeah, in so the it's, thing. It's, so it's, the devil will have one spare one. Yeah. Whereas everybody else, because you roll one per yeah, area, you'd have one to allocate to each place. So, so the devil ends up with a spare. So the kill is just better than the push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four kills against so your two black, four white. Yeah. Thanks to entrenching. Oh, this could be really a turning point Left right two now. Two more white dice, please. Oh, no, it's four black, right? Two white, four black. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, the bowmen roll white dice, yeah. Oh, my sure. goodness. So, yeah, this, this is big because if, if, if we were to see a lot of dead range units here, the devil would become much safer. One, two, five three, shields. four, five shields out of six dice. Josh, do one. <laughs> a white is two. A white is two shields. A black is three shields. Do one, Josh. <laughs> uh, Ababa, yes, there will be some mythological stretch goals coming up. That's the most I can say. I think uh, Leo teased a little bit of a wing last night on his live stream. Um, there will definitely be. We have a few interesting uh, little narratives coming. So you're going to have to give an eye out over the next few days. We're only on day two of the two-week campaign. Baz says, "What? What? What?" I think he's saying what 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 josh <laughs> what can we say dems dems the bricks all right you go let's hope the devil survives until the start of your turn jake uh well he can't do that like, like that uh, area again so that's very true now, the important thing again this is something we clarified in the errata and will be going in the official 1.5 rules is that if a gigantic creature becomes disrupted as their final wound they will not go to the infirmary they, they will, will be destroyed um, they're dead, dead. And very interesting, I just realized the devil can't currently be pushed from where he is because you've got some flying demons he, beside he's him. He's immune to push anyway. Oh, right? he is, of course yeah. he is. He doesn't care about push. But this, what this does is this stops anybody like Gabriel coming up and starting oh, a fight. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And it also means that I have a troop unit adjacent to everywhere on the table. Oh, very good. Because I can only try and check yep. to see if the Pope's there if yep. I have a troop unit adjacent gotcha. and on the floor I've been mostly wiped out. Yep. So that allows me to check. Scar anywhere. the building from the sky. Yep. The uh, I'm going to activate this area. <laughs> check the dice if the facings are manipulated. Right. No, they, they're not manipulated. They just all have shields. <laughs> no, they're absolutely fine. And they're going to target Josh the area with dice. the flying demons in the air. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So where are you attacking from? Sorry, they, they from have two bowmen, so two bowmen. Just loosen up. Shall I just put him in the bin now? He's fine. Well, it's an opportunity for legend talking sphere, isn't it? No, he, they get no, to they attack. Oh, they're the attack ones. They do when they attack. So that, that is three pushes. Three pushes. Well, I can't stop it, because I've only got one dice. Yep. So they get pushed, Which and they disrupted. can't get pushed, so they get disrupted, so they go there. And I get two experience points. Oh. Yep. It is a very, the, the Papal Army Marmen are doing a very good job of defending this village setup right now. They are doing an incredible job. Uh, would you like to interrupt? You have a pile no. of cubes. I have a pile of cubes. Um, I've got the same number of cubes you have. Oh. Uh, it is tempting just to try and stomp it on again. Yeah, one thing you guys might notice at home, if you haven't seen a lot of the game before, some of our battles um, take place on big maps where we kind of abstract it and zoom out more. We use more hexes with three areas and we use it to show kind of maybe three different villages with a battle taking place around it. Whereas in this case, we're focusing on one um, one village, this is Avignon, and we're, we're, everything's revolving around here and we can lay out the map differently and always have that feel. So um, the tiles and the setup and the areas inside oh, give us a lot of flexibility. We are trading in to you command mm -hmm. for an interrupt. Again. Again. Devil again? Devil again, because, exactly. well, who's on here? I mean, they, if these guys attack them, they're not likely to do a lot. They're not very good at attacking. They, they specialize in attacking other things. This lot won't do much to them. They probably could, yeah, the way we've been rolling, not likely to do much to them. The only thing I've got going for me is, is the big, yep. big funky purple dice, so I'm going to do that again. Big chunky. Same again? I, well, I don't know, either try on them or try on them. That's interesting possibilities. I really want a trample result. And all your units print as holy? I don't know. Yeah, from uh, the list, yeah. Yeah, yeah from the list. Because it's, it's sort of, it, if the, the Italians are coming from the papacy to yeah. rescue the Pope, so they're all, they're all papal troops, really. So uh, I'm going to go for this largely, only for them. Mm -hmm. I get three, I'd get three dice there, or two dice here, but there's more people to hurt here. 
and they're more dangerous. So we'll go with that. Okay. If I get a trample, it. I can auto kill two of them anyway. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. Exactly the same Not roll. A trample, exactly the same okay. roll. I wouldn't mind exactly the same roll again from myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so you four, know there are four two, kill results. two trample results on each of these dice. You know. I wouldn't have thought, it, to be honest. <laughs> Not under, not under the control of, uh, of the psychic over there. It's only two shields. Only this time. two shields. But importantly, that would be enough to defend the two. No, no, no. Because that, the, what happens when you get this result is it gets one perfect, one yep. perfect. So that's four. Uh, that's four kills yep. he's got to defend. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. So he's got defended two of them, so two of them die. Yeah, it'll be the archer unit. Two die. Two archers die. Okay. So that is dead, dead, Yay! dead. Yay! So you get it. Dead, dead, dead. Not, dead, not, dead, not, dead. Not, uh, it's like we get two legend tokens. Mm -hmm. That's jolly nice. Thank you very much. I shall treasure them always until I spend them. And then <laughs> I won't treasure them anymore until I get them again. Yep, so that uh, at least makes that slightly less irritating and, and also, more importantly, slightly less incredibly dangerous. I think I'd like to activate my culvert. Okay. Uh, just to shoot a point blank range at those. Yep. So we're looking at three yellows. So three yellow dice, pushes. blanks count as pushes. Two Not shields this time. Yes, uh, so that's three pushes. Three pushes. Uh, and I'm thinking. Hang on, hang on, I get to roll defense. Uh, I get to roll defense. Oh, 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 oh it'd be far hard to use this. No, 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 you use that if you're going to use it that. It just says after attack roll. Okay, yeah, go, go for it. it yeah. So I'm going to spend two legend tokens to add another two push results. Another two push results. So he's playing Gust. Because we're using the mythical deck, of course, because we're playing a mythical scenario. So uh, after an attack roll, add two pushes to the attack roll. So wolf, wolf rolls, uh, nothing, and the and demonic dodgy, legion. Right? Was there any dodgies? There was, and no. there was pain. The demonic legion gets me another legend token, but doesn't matter. Nobody manages to roll a shield. So push, push, push. So they're all pushed. Where are they going, Josh? Yeah, the demonic legion will go there. Those wolves will go there, and those wolves will go there. Okay. Okay. You're going to interrupt again? I, nope. I just want you to burn through everything so you can't do anything on nope, your turn. No, I'm not going to <laughs> interrupt again. The devil does indeed have targeting, actually. I just noticed that. Above. It was just, it was mentioned the fact that couldn't the devil oh, choose. Oh, yeah, I could have, I yeah. Could have chosen those. Ones, I yeah. thought that only worked with normal attack dice. Um, but, it's, no, but the important thing is, it's when attacking, dice results obtained by this unit can be assigned to enemy units of the attacker's choice. But in this case, there was the, everybody uh, had everyone's a, assigned everyone to the unit kill. So there was no assigning to be done. Well, it, it was, everyone had the, okay. same, the same result. Yeah. So, But um, a very good question, actually. Uh, it uh, was very, yeah. very pertinent. And I had forgotten it, but yeah. What else does he have? Terror? He has Terror 2 if you, you're attacking him, and he's fireproof. But fireproof isn't going to come into it this yeah. time because nobody's got any fire there. And do you know what, actually? Crispin with. We've not been using Terror at all. Terror only counts if you are attacking him. Uh, when your attack is declared against an error containing this one unit, so he should have been. I thought it was been. Muddy. I thought it was No, Muddy, it's just any it? attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've sorry, absolutely okay. not been using okay. Terror. Oh, yeah, fine. Well, he's only shot at him twice, but yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was melee. I thought it was melee and it wasn't. Okay, so, uh, but those guys didn't do anything, so it was only their attack in the first place. So yeah, so it's. There's only once. I'm going to activate these guys and move okay. them somewhere a bit more relevant. I've got a whole lot of command here, but. So, S Simon, what Jake did is Jake used the devil's ability to transform two command orders into an interrupt order. Yep. And then interrupt between Jake's, uh, Josh's turn, sorry. But Josh fired once with an area of crossbow and bowmen, then Jake interrupted. Then Josh fired with a separate two units of bowmen, and then Jake interrupted again. And I'm going to command with Caller, he's going to command these foot knights. Yep. The standard barrel command these foot knights. Okay. And then. I believe I'm allowed the musician to command the culverin. How far away is he? Uh, three hexes one year. Yeah, massive. Yep. And it's going to shoot at that demonic legion. Okay. I don't think Josh needs any help from a flak panzer, JC Ramsey. <laughs> uh, that is uh, pushing a disrupt because the shield's off. Okay, pushing a disrupt. So, so you get a legend talk. I right? got nothing again. Yay. And they these are shields, eh? These shields, eh? Ah, yes, Ababa. Whenever you play an interrupt order, at the end of that interrupt order, it is removed. So you then may, yes, interrupt the same area again if you happen to have shenanigans like the devil does. 
but not between the same yes, orders. Yes, yeah, you're exactly right. Not often you have the, the option for so many interrupts. Between an opponent's orders, you may play an interrupt order, you may trigger intrigue abilities, and you may use legend cards that don't have specific timings. One of each of those is fine, but not multiple. So yes, you have to wait for a second interrupt. What's the size of this? Uh, that is a small building, so just to confirm, make sure I got it right, it's size one, capacity two, two resistance okay. two. So I'd like to activate here. Yep. Uh, yep. Everyone's going to move. Yep. Um, Caller will, it's an adjacent hex or an adjacent, uh, it's an adjacent area, isn't it? For what? For sorry? what? For um, command? For, yeah, yeah, yeah. When adjacent command, area. Command, yeah, if it's a number one, it's a hex, and if it's an A, it's adjacent That's area. Yeah. So he's just going, he can't come, he's not going to command anyone. Okay. Um, but the musician will command this footnote. Okay. And the stand bearer will command that again, the cauldron. Uh, yeah, well, you can't fire at the wolf because that, that's in the way. Yeah, I'm going to fire at the other wolves. Yep. And they've said me. It's a free shot, effectively. It is indeed. Uh, two push and a disrupt. Oh, might get a dodge. I might dodge. No, you get stop shield. disrupt, so you get push. <laughs> um, I love the way you rolled a shield and we're like, well, I've never seen that symbol before. He goes, what I do with that? <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure. I yeah, all yeah, right. before it. <laughs> Only see them on Josh's dice. Wow. I Gripped think up. I know where he is. <laughs> well, I think I know where he needs to get smashed by a gigantic attack. And then I'm going to activate Hold the on, on, Unless you'd like unless to Unless you want to interrupt with a gigantic attack. <laughs> um, what's he going to do? I don't know. I have no idea. No, go for it. Everyone going to run inside the house? Cool. Well, everyone will fit. You're going to get one guy in there. Nah, they're all going to stay there. Um, they're going to do a wait action, but I'm going to do a bit of command. Um, so the stand bearer is going to command this foot knight to move to here. Wow, yeah. I love this. And the, the musician is going to command the culverin, who's going to fire at the demonic legion now. Because mm -hmm. I couldn't last time because it was direct shoot. Man, right? this culverin is doing such good work. It normally gets controlled by the devil yeah. in, in previous experience pretty mm -hmm. quickly, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, that is two pushes. Okay, let's see what we can roll. So some blanks we give legends, or shields would be good. A so blank a and a push. Okay. So one legend at least. What should my legion have actually... I think uh, I've actually got to push you closer to, to me, that's very sad. Yeah. Uh, or you can go back into the area with the wolves if you want to. I can't. Oh, you can, so you can't. Oh, it has to be the there, only yeah. place you yeah. can go. Because that's not really... That's not yeah, I got to roll some dice though. That's you did nice. get to roll dice, and you could have killed them, but you didn't. I think I'm probably them. going to hold on push to my the table. remaining orders. So two orders left? Unless you went and ripped in my turn. Nope. Cool. Okay, grab all your order Far kids. more efficient to not do that at yeah. the moment. Wow, this, so what we've seen happen, you've got foot knights, halberdiers, uh, two years of nice have and the Inquisitor all guarding the church. You've then got a standard bearer musician, the Pavis, uh, you've got the Italian commander, Actually. all defending the small house. Actually, oh. I could do that, you know, because I haven't got any, I haven't got any uh, reactivation cubes. So I am going to interrupt. Sure. One okay. last time. Yeah. And he gets a blue cube and then I'll give it back to you in a second. Yep. So, yeah, so he's going to go there. So he is going to stamp on that area. Sure. Cool. And he's going to hope that these ones with this symbol on, mm. this we're symbol looking, we're looking is what we're looking for. There's two areas, so he gets two dice, and then because he's the devil, he gets a third one. So we're looking for Let's a trample. See it. Trample, trample, or, um, or oops, or disrupt. So there's one, two, three, four, five units there. If I take the trample, I can also crunch the house. Mm -hmm. so that's either five pushes. Well, kill, kill, kills, tramples, and disrupts all remove a terrain element or a size one building from a targeted area, or inflict one damage token on a larger building. So you're so actually I can take the I can take the disrupt and, and then it will still damage the building. I'll take the disrupt then. So that's um, well. Yeah, I, I, the way the way the rule works is of these dice, I then allocate one to each area. So I allocate that to that and that to that. Mm -hmm. yep. There's nothing in there, so nothing happens. Uh, so eat, that's as many as there are units. So one, two, three, four, five disrupts. And a structure damage token. And a structure damage building. token to the building. So it's on one hit point now. Yep. So he has to roll a defense against. So there's currently five disrupts in the pool. Yep. Five disrupts. Okay, I roll. 
two black and two white for the Pavisia, and I oh. get a re-roll for each that oh. can be used in any one of the area. Word there. Good I get defense. a white from the musician plus an extra one have, from his they ability. They have no attacks, is that right? Yeah, they have no attacks. They're just... Um, I need another white die for the standard bearer. Oh, no. <laughs> I need two yellow dice which can, where the blanks can be changed to shields for Cola. I've got those. Okay. So the um, devil has just come down, smashed this entire area, and you're, you've got so many shields. So and many. I cancel up to two disrupts. Because of the standard barrier? Yeah. Yep. So you wow. cancel, well, just, just up to two. I'll go through the happy sign to him, or? Uh, no, no, cancel if he's defending. Yeah. Just, just automatically. Yeah, yeah. When defending, yeah. yeah. So, so, right, cancel so. two. So I've got all this plus two rerolls. Yep. So that's one, two, three shields, so they're all gone. Oh, my word. That is a strong, strong defensive force. The devil gets rebutted. Get rid of this blue. And now it's your turn, Papa. Okay. Um, oh. Very little left. Even less that can actually really do much, but we will see what we can manage. Um, how much HP does the church have? The church has. I'm just quickly checking. Five, I think. Mean. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it has five capacity, but three resistance. Oh, it's only three resistance. Okay. And it's size two. What happens if the Pope is in that building and it gets and it falls down? I can't remember. It's a very good question. Let's see if I can. You have a, you see if you can find that while I have a think. One, two. Oh, if an unholy unit attacks a building from an adjacent area, the unit the token inside the building is immediately flipped. Okay, cool. Uh, is the Pope inside? Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> so now, if the building was to collapse, he would suffer. Uh, an attack, a, a red dice attack, uh, like any May other. May as well take those other tokens off. He was in the little house all along. Little, little house little on the prairie. prairie. Thank you very much. The little pope well, on the Well, if you prairie. hit the house again, it could be a little house on the pope. Uh, yeah, well, that is entirely possible thing, because he can't, but so I've got two goes, two, I've got two orders, and Josh can't interrupt, I don't think. Uh, yep. Only with intrigue or no don't legend cards. No legend cards left. He's no already, he's already done left. all those nasty mm. tricks. So it's not looking good. So oh, 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 but none of them left. None of the flying guys left. Um, I'm just I'm thinking he will get to roll defense, but it'll have to be him on his own, I believe. Yeah, they all suffer one red dice attack roll and may roll their defense. Okay. Was that individually? Yes, individually. And he has a black and a white. So, so you level up the Pope? Mm. Oh, nope. sorry. Nope. nope. Wrong side. Not, yep, there he is. Just a He's just black. Level one. Um, would he then be in the same area as the Pavisia is? No, uh, no, he's inside because the Because the, you flip the interior to its own right, side and then it's, it's still it, an area. It still works like, yeah, yeah. Okay. It works the same. It, it's just the rubble side of it. Um, and we could take the building off. Just as Abba, uh, just Abba Abba some ruins, just as, Jake, as Jake mentioned, you essentially have the ruins of the building on the other side that still also have capacity, so they would be inside the ruins of the building. So, Mr. Devil is going to be activated mm-hmm. with a command action, so he can, or whatever that one's called, the grey action, which means yeah, he can command, use command. command. Yeah. And so he is going to start doing his clever tricks. He's going to Command one, two, three. Before he does that, he's going to roll to see if he can spend one of these and see if he can persuade any of the people on the other side. No, it's going yeah, to have to be into an adjacent area. So, what units do you have that are adjacent right now? The adjacent ones are, and mountain I can't knights, use uh, yeah. knights, is mountain knights there or the uh, Cold Cold Okay. They're the only ones I could get because my yep. cunning trick was undermined. Yep. So, but I've got to roll a shield first, which I don't do. So, that doesn't work. Oh. So, back to Thanks, back to command. So he's got, he's going to command this lot, this lot. So these wolves, these legion, and then 
these three guys here. So uh, these will move, these will move, and these will fight. So they move there, they move there, oops, and they will attack them because they can't see anybody else. Mm -hmm. So that is one white for the halberdiers, if I remember rightly. Yeah, because you're not attacking. Because I'm troops. attacking mounted troops, and who else have we got there? We got a we got a legion. Who get? Oh, so they also get white. And we've got, uh, we'll also get a white and a yellow. So it's a pretty feeble attack, but I can't do anything else with them. Yeah. They haven't got retaliate. I'm not losing anything by doing it. Might as well try. Might as well give it a poke. You never know, I might be lucky. I've got two disrupts and a push. Mm -hmm. So that's what we got. So that's something. So one shield. One shield. So, so that's, that's a disrupt and a push. Mm. So that actually wasn't such a bad go. Um, so disrupt. I'm going to allocate the first result to Gabriel. So he takes the disrupt. Uh -huh. So he takes a wound. Yeah. Down to four wounds. If you would pass a wound. Sorry, top, please. A wound. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use his bodyguard ability. Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. No. That's <laughs> terrible. You okay. leveled him up. Yeah. He lost his bodyguard. I'll be leveling him down shortly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it'll have to be Knight's taking a push then. Knight's taking a push. So that's interesting. The knights can take a push, and knights can take a push into there. Okay. Mm. He's probably going to activate that area, so maybe send them off somewhere else. Yeah, possibly. I was thinking of. No, I'm not going to stomp on them. So it's I'm very doing. sad that I realised yeah. that I forgot to buy three tokens in my turn. I was going to stamp. I was going to stamp on them, but I won't. Um, so yeah, they'll go there instead. And you still have the devil's actual action, right? I or still have the devil's so actual action, and I got another command cube. So, he, so he could move to get that, into a different that. area. He could, but at the moment, when they've still got everything there, I've got half my armies off the thing. I'm waiting for some of these guys to come back. Yep. So, do I want to do that just yet? I'm actually going to see if I can do that trick of stamping mm -hmm. on the building and crunching the, uh, the Pope under the weight of rubble, mm -hmm. which I don't expect will kill him, but would be. Um, I mean, are you guaranteed to get the building, right? Uh, no. Okay. Oh no, can I? Well, the way I, I roll, was any of the if, there's a, if there's a way of doing it on this these dice, I can. So, three dice. Mm -hmm. smash, Can't smash, kill him, smash. can I? No, I'd have to I roll. Think you can kill him. Uh, no, because he's got three ones. Yeah. So there you go. So mm -hmm. it's just it's just making a start. So a push, a disrupt, or a trample. Uh, the trample is basically a push you can't defend against, so I could scatter everybody, mm -hmm. which would kind of mess with you only very slightly he because you've got so command. many commands. Yeah. So I'll take the disrupt and see what happens if you can roll a million billion. Cool. Oh, mind you, you can dis you can ignore disrupts, can't you? I can ignore two of them. So Oof, you're only rolling tough. defense against three disrupts. Oh. No, we'll take the push. Mm -hmm. So the trample. No, take the, take the trample because you don't get to defend against the trample. Yeah. So I trash that building. But everybody, uh, everybody gets pushed. Yep. So let's do the everybody gets pushed bit first. So. Okay. Oops, I'm going to push them all over there. Okay. We can go ahead and remove the small building then because yep. it's going to get smashed. You we put do some, have, you put some yep, ruins we have, in We there. have some ruins there. Just to make it nice. Here's oh, look, I perfect. Prepared earlier to <laughs> save time. And then flip over the uh, the ruins there. So this is the question that was getting asked in the chat. What happens? Basically, you flip over your tile to show that it's no longer yeah. indoors, but it's actually just the ruins. And each one of these units is going to suffer a red dice attack individually that they can roll their defense for as the building crumbles around them. See, what I should have done after Jake changed his mind and did interrupt is I should have spent an experience point and two legend points to buy two intrigue so that I could use my secret passage as an interrupt. Oh uh, yes. I realised as soon passage. as you I realised as soon as you started doing stuff that you did it during my turn and I could have carried on doing oh, it. Secret yeah. passage jinx Crivens, that's even more even even so naughty. Who are you red dicing first? The uh, Halberdiers? I will do the Halberdiers first. first. So they get a push result. What's the counters in there? Uh, they do have somewhere to go so it's absolutely yeah, fine. Uh, do we get a defend against it anywhere? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So that's yeah. a white and a red. And because yeah, because you've got an area you can be presented, it's absolutely fine. If you were surrounded, this would be a disrupt. Yeah. So you don't get it. So you are pushed. So you're pushed out yep. into the area. 
because you were in the interior. Yeah. So, so you, the building falls down, and you, you guys just like duck out a window. Pope pokes and pope takes a disrupt. Okay, he got three black. wounds though. Single black dice. Shield. Of course it's a shield. Of course uh, it's a shield. And that he's means that he stays in the room. Then, right? He's well, he is. Yep, and no reason to move him. Yep, <laughs> no reason to move him. All right. Uh, now, technically, I would say that you're no longer in a building, so that building thing won't work, now, right? Yeah, no, I know. I should have been able to get the tokens because mm -hmm. when you attacked him and it was the, suddenly in danger, yeah, you it was still get, my turn. Yeah, you don't get the. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Even well. popes make mistakes. That's okay, Josh. Um, well, let him have a take. So, so that was all that one activation. That was all that so one activation. Command, command, and he's we kind had, of we tried kind to of steal command, stuff, didn't Yeah, do all of that didn't work, and um, what a big round of three this has been. Uh, I've got one command token left. Do I use it? Because if they attack, they will get a bunch of stuff. And but they've got two wounds, haven't they? Now because they've got we can't kill them separately. That makes them so much more annoy annoying. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use it because I'm just going to get shot, and they're all going to go anyway. Next thing's going to happen. He shoots them. Their defense isn't good enough to stop them getting mangled everywhere. So they, yeah, they've been absolutely terrorized. They they they're just going to have to chance their arm and see if they can do something. So two wolfies two and wolfies. demonic legion against the culvery. Demonic legion, demonic legion. So it's, te it's technically got two crew and then it's own one wound. So you need to get all three to try and get it gone for good. Not very likely, but we'll see what we can do. That's uh, two uh, two disrupts and a push. It's more than we have been getting. So. It's not a bad starting point. Okay. What was that? Two disrupts and a, and a push. So two disrupts are the two crew, so right? It's real, yeah, the two the two crew will get taken out for the two disrupts and then the, the, the thing itself will get pushed. So take, can, it, take, take, can yeah. it function when it's got no crew? But they can potentially rally back to it. Because the culverine has, unlike the, uh, I think the trebuchet, for example, or the bigger war machines, the culverine has no wounds. It just has these kind of floating wounds that are represented by the crew that soak up kills and disrupts. Follow up. Follow up into that. All right. I could spend the thing to see if the Pope's in there. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not. Imposter Pope. Imposter Pope. Anti Pope. Yeah, we, when that's we have the Antichrist. But no, that's what they're called, anti popes. And this time, of this period, they're quite common. This sort of, this is the sort of time you get them at the How can you prove that you've got the legit pope there, and you're not just having us on? It says pope, doesn't it? <laughs> it does say pope. because because there wasn't an anti pope Clement the Sixth. There was only an anti pope Clement the Seventh. <laughs> right, start with the. We're gonna, we're gonna my, get moving. We're gonna end of my go. Up. Cleaning cleaning up the. Great Into things. the camp phase. Oh, that's, that's it's gone. Camp it's phase. dead. It's dead. So Josh you have two okay. guys. So we, yeah, yeah, first player. So two crew. So, two crew. I'd like to point out that I've got a re-roll and I've got one stranger disrupting a rally. So there's a good chance. Yeah, these so guys are going back. Crew. Dead. Rallies? Yeah. Um, and then between the re-roll and that ability, this, this has got to be okay, right? Um, I'll change that disrupt into a rally. Oh, no, it's not so much the culverin as the as the, the crew. Massive. Oh, I can actually do it twice. They've each got that as ability. There's the massive right, so. catalogue of special rules that these guys have. So. I mean, it was a one in three that you got a death, right? I mean, it just just didn't happen. All right, well, you've got two instant rallies. You've got uh, some flying demons. for the death. Yeah, they come back first, yeah. What? Flipping holy people. So, <laughs> wolves and flying demons will come back. for the death. I had a re-roll for the death and changed two disrupts into uh, rallies. Yep. Now, you've only got one space left in your rally point. So, what unit you choose here is going to be really important. Does anyone have the rally skill? Uh, no. He's in the sky anyway. Uh, nope. Yeah. So, uh, bit, of a, bit of a pain. Uh, a lot of a pain. Uh, so, do I take the uh, flying demons... Who are better at attacking, or the legion who are demonic legion who are better at defending? Andrew says, "Come on, Jack. We believe in you." Who have we got there already? Let's take. I oh know. Let's take the uh, flying demons. Ah. Leo, Le Leo is hopping in and giving Time. us some insight, thankfully. Unfortunately, Leo, we don't have the updated cards here, I'm afraid. So we're still playing mm -hmm. with, with the 1.0 Culverine, but yes, Leo's making the point that in the future, the Culverine will essentially have one automatic shield and two hit and points. It will fly, and it will be able to walk on water. Yeah. Uh, but we're, we're, rock, we're rocking with the current one here, so as, as we kind of evolve the Kickstarter, we'll kind of update these things. I rolled that, so they get yeah. to come back next in year. a while, so okay. I can still roll for the next lot. Yeah. See if I can get them back now. So I roll death, 
So they stay where they are. Yeah, because so I'm actually they're, they're immortal. Because yeah. they're immortal, so they don't care about that. So I get to roll the le Legion after all, who get disrupt. <laughs> and yes, Ababa, um, he, he is a war machine, but um, it's worth noting he hasn't moved yet. He's actually just been pushed. He's been pushed around the place, not actually moved. Uh, yeah. So the fact that I only have one space really doesn't matter. Because I still have one space after all those yeah. rolls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Start round four. Um, I'll get cancel phase done. One, oh, no, not I'll done. get one entry token from this. I'll yep. take as a legend. I'll take as a legend talk. Okay. Yep. And, what and no one's got the well. No one's got the no, 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 no. How many cubes? How many commands? Five again. Five again. Five again. Oh, that's really scary though, because yours can be used as interrupts. So Josh, do you, you want to do a lot of shenanigans? Yeah. So of course the does. Inquisitor is going to try and steal one of your legend tokens, Jack. And that doesn't happen. Shielding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am going to spend one legend token to search the legend deck and hopefully there's something that's going to help me a bit. Oh, we haven't picked Warcancel cards yet. Well, so your stuff has started the start of my turn. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. The only start Warcancel stuff now was the, um, the extra entry so, legends. Okay, we have three different ones again. So we have destroy an opponent's command order. We have trade a command order for three experience or three legend, or we have trade a command for a reactivation, trade a command for an interrupt, or trade any amount of experience for any amount of legend or vice versa. I'll leave it here for you guys to easily see it for a minute because I know it's. Um, uh, I am going to take the interrupt. Seems legit. Uh, so he's got so many that destroying one's a bit waste of time. Just a uh, seven command right yeah. now. Yeah. Change, I don't want experience. I've got four legends at the moment. That'll keep me going for a bit. Um, so really, I think it's changing one of those two. Uh, that's okay. Do I want the interrupt or do I want the repeat? Yeah, the reactivation of the interrupt, there's both, there's viable reasons for both. Yeah, there are. Yeah, for me, there's, it's a, yeah, it's an interesting choice. So I'm going to spend one of these. Yeah, I yep. can pay one of these. One command orders. But I, do I want the yellow or the blue? Do I want the yellow or the blue? I think I want the yellow. Okay. The reactivation it is. There you Thank go. You. You're it, mm. Mr. Pope. Yeah, Kyle, I'll try and get that confirmed for you. I'm not sure if Leo can confirm in the chat um, what the uh, what the crew, whether the crew can be glued or not with 1.5. I'm actually not 100% sure. Can be what? Whether, yeah, because we did initially use the crew as they were removable as hit points, the way we're kind of playing it at the minute. But in 1.5, we are looking to change that slightly and to add new stats to the uh, war machines themselves. And to be, yeah. And to be clear, um, in the update pack, if you did back the first campaign, of course, the update pack will be sent to you for free. If you spend twenty dollars on anything at all on, on the new campaign, doesn't matter what you do, and we will include those new cards. So you'll have a replacement Culverin card, for example, with the latest stats. As promised, I didn't pay upkeep for Gabriel. Yep, he was the only one you had leveled up. Yeah. Okay. Um, do I want to level him up, or do I rather? I think I'm going to level Clement. Though, but that's if I you will have to activate him, him yeah. You have to activate him or his area. I guess I'll have to activate him then. I will level him up. So, uh, Leo's just confirming crew will not be removable. So, you mean Leo, just to be clear, that you'll not need to remove them from more machines with the new rules? Yes, and he's sorry. going to move to here and he'll command. These pervisiers in yeah. the same area. You could take one of those ruiny bits off you. Yeah. I mean, one's enough to show there's a yeah, ruin. Sure. It like just you, had a very similar bit, footprint. Gives, and you, I found it gives you a bit more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it gives, gives you a bit more space. Um, well, would I'm you finding it like pleasing. to interrupt? Second. Would you like to interrupt? Uh, so you just move somebody out. Blah blah blah. Um, oh, I can command two units. Sorry, I'll bring the other ones in as well. If that's okay. It's mm -hmm. range one, but two That's units. Fine. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so, how to kill the puppy? 
Hard to kill the poopy. How <laughs> to kill the poopy. Uh, my men not on the board is not good. Um, can really do with some of those current guys coming back. Never mind, they'll come back eventually. Well, turn four? This is the start of round four, yeah. Start of four. So this turn, two more after it. Pope's got three wounds. That's one wound to turn. Nice and tidy. Tidy and nice. Uh, can we do this? Nope, go for it. Cool. So this takes up two, right? Uh, yes, I think it So is. I'm allowed with six things with it. Yes, I think you are. So if I go ahead and pop this cube here, and I command the executioner to mm -hmm. move into this area. Still be. And he'll take some foot knights with him. Okay. And we'll move all these. Go oh, did, there's two areas there. There's two areas in there. Mm. Yeah. In which case, I'll rather move them here if it's all the same here. Yeah, sure. And we'll just move everyone here to here. Okay. Um, would you like to interrupt? Mm, looks like you're making a run for the church by the looks of things. More importantly, I'm making a run for all of that stuff. Now, I'm assuming that my, um, my uh, when it says once per turn, I can spend things to turn people's heads. I'm yep. assuming that's in my turns. Yes. Um, well, well, once per turn, you do have to activate him, essentially, to do it. So you could interrupt and do it. That would be in his turn, then. Yeah, but you can you can do it when you're activating. Well, I haven't been doing that, because I thought yeah. that might be a bit... Well, it's once per turn, not once per round. So it you're absolutely once fine. per turn? Yeah. So you could try and do it in both okay. turns. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, it's worth pointing out when I level up again in ability. Right. Units in the same area as Pope Clement VI can never change factions or be controlled by any other player. Of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pope. Um, kind of running out of plans here. Yeah. Because the Pope has I everyone. Have, I have no army He's left. He's marching happily across the field. I have no army left. And um, the only people I've got are penned in a corner by an archangel that I can't realistically kill either. If I could kill him, I could kill a pope. <laughs> moral victory, killing an archangel, right? I'm not sure <laughs> that is a moral victory. <laughs> <laughs> an immoral victory, yeah, I'm yeah. going to interrupt. Cool. Okay, so spending two command orders to get an to interrupt, interrupt order. with him uh, because him it seems the thing to do. Uh, I am going to uh, see if I can turn yep. somebody because I might Absolutely. as well. Uh, go over there. Oops, looking missed. for a black. Uh, looking for a Come uh, on, shield. shield. Nah. Of course not. Why would it be? Um, <laughs> and uh, it's just a way of spending legend tokens because I've got too many of them. And um, can't command because it's an interrupt. And so it's just me moving or punching. So I'm going to, I think my best bet is still stomping on that area, I think. I can't melee attack from this range. From, I'd have to land and then you'd punch me before I could actually do anything. Yeah. So I'm gonna, it's the only attack I can do from where I am. Uh, and take retaliation doesn't work against this. No, against the Against the gigantic attack from the sky. And not that I, not that I understand, mm -hmm. no. So I'm going to do it on that area, which means I get three. Mm -hmm. Because there's two areas in that X. So I get a trample, yep, which is the one I'm going to use. So I get a trample, which means I get to push on everybody and they can't defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Cool. So where would you like to push everybody? So Poopy's going to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, There. Who's got retaliate? You can go there. Mm -hmm. You can go there. Right. How many f we can f we fit in here? We can fit everybody in here? Uh, six more things with the church, I believe. I can't see. Is there anything over there? Uh, there's two uh, units of bomb in there. No, but they're not in this area, are they? No, no, no. They're in a separate area. No, they can go there as well. Cool. So they can walk further. Mm -hmm. Y'all done with that? Uh, yep. Cool. Uh, I'll activate this area. 
just thought you might. <laughs> yeah. I'll move the pop to there, and I'm going to command um, these two units are coming to here. Okay. Would you like to interrupt? Yes. Cool. Because that cube's gone now, as soon as you've uh, yeah, that cube's resolved gone. the order. Yeah, that cube's gone. the order, yeah. Um, and it's real pro real, really profligate with my c command cubes, but I've got so many few forces left anyway, and the only thing that matters is killing him, and they're all in the wrong place apart from the devil. But I'm thinking if I can get another trample, I can push the Pope back into an area that's already been activated, so you can't mm -hmm. do it again. Yeah. Which is at least something. For sure. It's not great, because I can't really exploit it. <laughs> because I've got, I'll have no command left, but I am doing it because right. I've got to do. That's why I got one. Yeah. So I've got to do something. So I am going to trample that area again, cool. which means I've got. Nah, you're, not, you're going to make the gigantic attack, you're not going to trample. Sorry, I'm going to make the gigantic, gigantic trample. It's not going to happen. You're going to make the gigantic <laughs> trample. Oops, Oops, let me steal that one, but that was. Oh, roll that one again in there, and it was. Okay. I got a choice. So. So, what's going on which area? What's going on which area? So, if I get the trample there. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Because that's what I want, and I've got a kill and a disrupt, so the kill is obviously more fun than disrupt. So kill on the executioner. There. Well, I get to roll Killing for the that. executioner. What? <laughs> Does that. That's. Uh, yeah, that seems fair enough. Oops, missed it. Try again. He's all right. He's, he's all fine. Right. He's fine. He doesn't mind. Okay, so push him where you like. Push him where we like. So I'm going to push him back into the area you can't you can't reactivate. And oops, I will push. These guys were supposed. To, oh, he can go over there. And oh yeah, let's put them over there because they they again that's mm -hmm. got a cube in it. Yeah. So you can't reactivate. Any gray cubes left? No, I have no gray cubes left. Okay. Move that. Oh Which boy. was as I said. I can't now exploit that because I haven't got enough cubes left, but at least it keeps the Pope. Are the Holy Army going to finish off the devil? At least put the devil out of his misery here? here. At least it keeps the Pope actually out of hiding in the middle of some yeah. all these um, men. He's going to command these guys to so I'm still to I'm still in with maybe you with the shout. Who knows? What's the defense on the Pavisa? Um, a black and a white, and they give a, a, what, a re-roll for each unit. Okay. They, they each give one re roll on defense. Cool. Um, the musician will command the other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, this too far away. Um, may as well get the execution going there as well then. Um, and they're all going to move to here. Okay. And then you can't interrupt anymore. I'm going to nope. activate these guys and we'll just sort of try and turtle up over there. Here. Form a big group. Turtle up over there, yeah. Run, probe. Because you will get rolled two gigantic dice there as well. Yep, I do. Um, that is the place to hide. You get lots and lots and lots of wounds in front of the uh, boat. <laughs> I'm going to spend two legend tokens for an experience point. No, two sorry, I'll spell two legend tokens for an intrigue token, which I'll trade in for an experience point. If you say so. Yeah. Um, and then I could move any troop if I want to. I've got these two odds left here. So I've shown in the sky. How many wins has the devil got left? Um, eight, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah, eight. Doesn't seem particularly worth it then. Uh, Go on, Josh, just take some pops at the devil. He's not really doing anything up there anyway. Just take some shots. I'll have a shot at the devil. But it won't be anywhere near as good as it was earlier. Nope, that was the idea. Two disrupts. Two, two disrupts. Two shields. So two shields. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. And no. then I'm, I'm, I'm going to use this, and it's completely ill advised, but what's going to happen is. He's going to move to there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gabriel is going to not command anyone. He's, oh, I can command from the sky, though, right? Gabriel's going to jump in the sky. Mm -hmm. And now I'm adjacent to everywhere, right? Yep. 
Okay, he'll command the culvert yep. to shoot at these guys. Uh -huh. And you'll get a re-roll because of the build them, right? Yeah, one yeah. defense dice re-roll. Uh, that is a disrupting two pushes because of the culprit's ability. Okay. And I've only just realized it has targeting. <laughs> okay. But I think that happens after the defense yeah. roll anyway. They could they could end up dodging. Is yeah. there what, two two wolves and some demonic legion there, is it? Or two yeah. wolves first. So they've got one shield one and one, one blank, shield, one so dodge, one can yeah. dodge. Um, so... Oops, oops, oops. oops. Uh, he will dodge there. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, he will dodge there. And then, um, so that was one shield so far. Yep. And I've got the uh, I Legion. Oh, I missed again. So it's another shield and a push. So they don't get the special thing, but I do get two shields. That was enough, wasn't it? Yeah. One push, uh, yeah, one push, push left. left. Okay, a push left. So um, uh, I'll pop it onto it. the. Yeah, because yeah, it doesn't really matter yeah. because of the demonic legion being there. Uh, I guess I'll pop the demonic legion back there. Okay. Cool. Um, I think I can leave it there, unless I want to use my interrupt cube as a normal activation to get Gabriel into the Pope's area, which wow. does actually seem quite tempting. Um, you are. Yeah, I'll use this as a normal cube. So, using an interrupt as a normal to order to put Gabriel, Gabriel with the here. Pope. So the Pope Archangel Gabriel, the commander of the, the Italian forces, two puppy shields, the executioner, a musician and standard bearer, all now in a single area defending the Pope. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time for the devil to go home, Jack. Uh, I think he's dead as done. I've got two <laughs> um, turns left. That is my <laughs> turn to do so well. Two <laughs> turns <laughs> left. Um, and you're I have to get my turn now. Well, your rally point is full, right? So you need to you definitely need to make some speed. Oh, I have to get a turn now. Well, you have one well, cube. But I've only got one cube, and I must spend it because I must spend a cube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I must spend an order. Um, which is kind of a shame, but there you go. Uh, so I've got to spend this, which I don't really want to spend because I I saved it up as a fancy thing, but you know, needs must when the devil drives, as they say. Yep. And he's really not a very good driver, but you know. Oh, actually, no, he can't go down. Yes, Ash just got oh, can't. He can't go up and down in the same room. All right, no, okay. no, I've can't. never had a flyer before. Oh, there you go. No, well, you leave him up there, and I'll leave my blue. Oh, right, okay, there. yeah. He can't, go, catch, he can't yeah. go up and down or down or yeah. that. Yeah. Technically, you'll be able to do it immediately after one order has been played. Yeah. Oh, smash him in the head, devil! Smash him in the head. I mean, he's got four wounds left. Unfortunately, uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. Poopy. No, Gabriel has four wounds. Poopy has three. But the Pope also has, it's been surrounded by shields. Yeah, I know. That is the problem. But um, I'm actually not, because this isn't going to do a command. No, it's not. Um, it just needs to be grey. Yeah. So proper command I order. I'm not going to do that. I am going to command. So I'm going yeah, to I think that feels These bad. guys, and they're all going to come out to play. And they're all going to move, and... These guys are going to go there, and these guys are going to go through them into that. Oops, so they, actually no, they won't. They all stay together. No, he's not going to have to. He's not going to have to the angel investor journal. No, I'm not going to have to the angel. Enough, he only had one. The angel is a yeah. distraction. Two red dice and one automatic kill. So even if you've got three kills, Gabriel still yeah, will still be alive. One wound, so still be alive. Yeah. So it's not. It's not worth it because they can't kill him. So, okay. So that's me move there and. Um, Looks like the camp phase, I think. Once my turn, can I still do that? Yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, so Trying to convert someone? Yeah, might as well. Okay, let's see it. Never hurts to convert people. No, not at all. Um, and so we have to roll the dice. Black dice, come on. Get. Come, come on. on. Shield. Yeah. Yay! I think it's awesome. got to be the culvern or the knights. Uh, culvern or knights or, or crossbowmen. Crossbow. Or can other Genoese What's the word? Entrenched the Genoese they crossbowmen. cannot move. Entrenched Genoese crossbowmen. That's the interesting, because I can't move and they're not allowed to have mix, so I probably can't take them. Uh, well, what does it say? Does it, say? does it say place them in your area or move? Uh, it says moves into an adjacent yeah. allied area. So they can't. Uh, will we, it doesn't make any sense that yeah. we can take them. So uh, Culverin is the choice thing, because that's mm -hmm. indestructible and keeps shooting me. So we'll 
Uh, Culverin is now mine, so I'll just mm -hmm. turn around and. You have to move it, change it, it goes into your area. Yeah. Yeah. Um, put it in. What's the range of the Culverin? Two? Uh, two direct. Two direct, yeah. yeah. Put it in there. Cool. Because that gets extra defense because you've got a building in. It's all built up. Cool. Uh, camp phase, I guess. Camp phase, yep, that goes. Uh, they are Mackley Rally. These guys automatically rally there. And so Manic Legion and Flying de Demons and Roll for Flying guys first. Uh, roll death. That's fine, so they stay counts, It counts as disrupt, so they stay where they are. Because Legion. they are immortal. Rally. Okay. They are spend a lot of time up there, which is unfortunate, but that was that, so beginning of the next turn. So you have a beginning of the next turn phase. I get one. We're going to get one as well. I get one as well. Yeah, I'm going to take one as intrigue. Um, intrigue or okay. legend. Intrigue. Any nice intrigues on your side, Jim? Uh, I've got Rally Heretics, Rally Wolves. And that's Rally Destroyed Heretics. Rally Destroyed well. Heretics, Rally Destroyed Wolves. Draw two legend cards, or for four. I can move up to two allied troops into any allied or free area that is not a building. But the chance of me getting four is pretty thin. So you do have some heretics and some wolves destroyed? Yes, nice. I do. Uh, when do I spend I spend these as a... A player action. A yeah. player action. I can do it as an so interrupt. So similar well, time in interrupt, yeah. Yeah, same time as an interrupt. Um, the round cards? <coughs> so we have four command. Four. And a new river? Yes. So we have you have no start of war council phase stuff that you want to trigger? No, it's just the tokens and the, the extra deployments. So we have look for a war council card of your choice, resolve it, then reshuffle the deck, or retrieve your reroll token. Ooh, it's not both your possession. Good, both good. We have a reactivation order, or we have two legend or two experience. A reroll token card of your choice from the War Council deck. There is actually just a small amount of War Council deck left at this stage. Uh, two legend, two experience, or a reactivation order. Uh, I'm taking my reroll token back. First player. Reroll token back. That was a quick snap decision. I like mm. it. There's several things there I would like. Yes, it's not as easy as it usually is. And usually, you know which one, but there's several things that would fit into my cunning plan, what cannot possibly fail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I don't want them, one of them, or... So if I went into the War Council deck, what kind of thing could I get that I haven't got? I could get myself an interrupt, which would be a cheaper way of doing that. And I'll pay up keep on the pot. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. You always missing something. I think I will go through the deck. Ooh, see what I can find. Choose one. See what okay. I can find. And resolve it. Resolve it. Uh, and so you've got one legend card, no, Josh, and no. two, three legend tokens? And three legend three tokens. Legend tokens and, a, and an entry token. Mm -hmm. Jay's got one legend card, one entry token, three legend tokens. So yeah, still some sneaky shenanigans could occur here. I'm going to take uh, an interrupt. An interrupt. Oh, okay, okay. And that gets shuffled. Yeah, seems likely. Yeah, you're good. So we're going to have a interrupt token, mm -hmm. please. Here you go. Start of my turn. Start of your turn. Let's see if I get uh, one of your legend tokens. Looking for a shield? I don't. No. Do I want to search for a legend token? For a legend card, sorry. And this is with Jean de Metz. Yeah. So you spend a legend token to get a legend card. Yeah. I think I do. 
Yes, I do. Okay. Let's see which night. So you managed. You found. You found paralysis. You found communion. Um, what are we after now? Oops. We have no orders. Oh no, we do have one order here. So four, four command and an interrupt on both sides. Order wise, that's quite interesting. You're very evenly balanced in terms of resources. Uh, my first order is going to be an order for the Archangel Gabriel. Um, he might command yeah. something from all the way up there. Okay. Not meow then. Mm -hmm. Meow mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. not how it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being sensible. Nothing seems particularly useful, to be honest. No, okay. I'll just have him come so along to him. Yeah, he's going to meow all the way down to there. The ultimate defense now. And I yeah. feel like, uh, well, would you like to uh, play? Would I like to interrupt? Um, I mean, essentially, a kill, a kill, gigantic attack is is eight. You know, it's eight kills there. I mean, that's it's trying to get something through. This is why I took the reroll token. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the gigantic attack is kind of tempting, but you still have your self-sacrifice card as well. Self-sacrifice card, but I mean, what would happen if, if I go down? I've got a very strong feeling that if I go down, then yeah. he'll just run away. Yep. So, because that's a sensible thing to do, and Josh is very sensible, so there's no point in going down. I could just mess about with him from on high. Which would be kind of amusing, but let's let's do that. Let's let's just okay. mess about with it. So we'll we'll do the interrupt and mm -hmm. we'll do the gigantic attack from one sure. height on that. This time I only get two dice because it's one per area plus one extra one wherever it's gone. There it is. As always, tramples are nice. Mm -hmm. Trample, trample. Oh. There we go, trample. There we go. Didn't want to see that. No, trample and a push. So, mm -hmm. trample it is. So, Popey McPopeson goes over there. Mm -hmm. Does he want to go there? That's two areas, which makes stopping on them easier, but it can just go away. Go away. And, mm -hmm. um,. Not that it's really going to slow anybody down very much because you've got command coming out the wazoo, but it doesn't hurt just to make a bit of a mess of them. Mm -hmm. So just throw them around all over the place. Let me tell you there. We're all going to go further away from the Pope. There you go. Nice mm -hmm. gap between the Pope, <laughs> Hello, the Pope and them. Yeah, so I'm so going just to trying try. to keep him isolated. Are you doing anything else with his orders? Or I can't do anything else with the with the interrupt apart from uh, try and legend token I, something I, and I steal could, it, but it's once per turn. Yeah, but I'm not. I mean, what okay. am I going to do with it if yeah. I get it? I'm going to activate the pop. Yep. He's going to move to here. Yep. And then I'm going to command these two. <laughs> back Bring here. back the power shield. And then, would you like to interrupt? Oof. Look at that. Look at that juicy poop just chilling it is there. Just I know, te right? It is tempting, isn't it? <laughs> like, look at him just... It is tempting. But they got so many defense on this. Those power shields. shields are so that strong. Is, that is their job. They just, they're just they there to be defense. So, And that's presumably why they brought them all the way from Rome. Um, but again, if I could push him again, I could push him back into an area he can't move. So I'm going to actually do that again. I'm going to oh, interrupt him again. Word. I interrupt him again. S four command orders gone to interrupt cubes. No, the first one was an interrupt cube. Yeah. Oh, the first, first one was, four four went yeah. to it last turn. Four yeah. went to it last yeah. turn. Yeah. yeah, but this is because I, I got the. I, I just need to do something about yeah. like the Pope. I can't let him go. Uh, not a trample would be lovely. Oh, damn. Right, it's a double disrupt. So I have double to. Double disrupt. So it's a disrupt. So cool. it has to be a disrupt. And the other result's wasted. Uh, um, the other result. No, you, because the devil gets an extra dice. The extra yeah. there's always one spare that black doesn't do anything. And, and then not black, what and I wanted. Again, black and white again. Not what I black wanted white at all. So it's three disrupt results. So it's three disrupt. Disrupt. So so you watch yeah. out for the ones you're gonna potentially re roll. Right? Uh, any unit can uh, re roll a die. Oh one my word. unit in the same areas of uh, three CS. 
it's already dealt with, it's I believe. Yeah, 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 that's three. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. I just didn't want the disrupts. Yeah. Nope, makes sense. 50-50 uh, on each dice of getting what I actually wanted. Yeah, because two tramples on every dice, right? So and the push. Yeah. Oh. So the tramples or the push would have been good enough. Yeah. That's what I wanted, and that's a 50-50 on each dice. So there you go. Well, never mind. So I think I'm just going to play an order in here. <laughs> these two Reassemble. The <laughs> and then the command is not get, particularly get good for Get the band back line. together. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Literally as the devil smashes his face against these people and they just yeah. keep regrouping. Go Josh, go Josh, shouts Baz. I think I actually kind of want to put the other one here. Okay. So make life oh a little bit awkward dear. over here. Oh dear. That's a little bit irksome. And then I'm going to hold on to my interrupt for your turn. Uh, I am going to switch out. No, I'm going to leave as is. It's f probably fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And there's a grey cube that wants rid of uh, from the sky over there. You what? what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Off to you. Okay. Penultimate round. Devil. Penultimate round. Devil. Two cubes left. <laughs> okay, so let's see if this is... I've probably got something wrong in the way I think this is going to work, okay. but let's just see what happens. Devil. Okay. He's going to... Yes! Ooh. Yes! Ooh. Yes! Do I want to command first before I move? Or do I want to command first before yeah, I move? Yeah, because then you can command anyone. I can command anyone. Anyone. Oh, I can command first. Oh, tease. I mean, you're probably <laughs> going to be able to... I, even if you went to here, you'd be able to... We're going to be able to command there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to command... One, two... Um, Might I offer you a suggestion? Mm -hmm. Is there any way you can get some wolfies near the Pope somehow with, with one command and then even if you do another command in a second because I can't go through them I'm going to have to go one, one two, two, three, four, oh, five so it's a long way it was, and there's no way to sneak through the middle is there, are there units here? there's nobody in the middle actually so one and then but there's, that's blocked oh. so I'm going to have to go one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five it's the same distance dang because what we'd love to do is is convert some of those Pavish shield guys. Uh, not while they're in the same area as Pope Clement. God leveled damn, up. leveled up, yeah. Pope. <laughs> Gah! Um, yeah. Leveled up, Pope. Yeah, leveled up, Pope. I look, um, and it's, it's so killer because we're going into round six you don't even have any experience left which means he's going to almost automatically go down. It's like this, this is much tighter than it's looking. Yeah, um, so... Anyway, so I'm going to command. I'm going to command the two flying demons. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to command. Um, oh, that is interesting. You get legend. Two flying oh. demons. And the these legendary guys and these guys. Oh, that's three, four. So the legendary guys, the halberdiers, and. Um, these legendary guys. Okay. So basically everyone's moving. So he's moving in there to join his friends, try and help them out in defense. These guys are moving. These guys are going to use their special ability to command somebody to move, mm -hmm. which is them. Yeah. And then they're going to move themselves into, oh, they can't go there, can they? Oops, that was a mistake. Go there, go there yeah. they go there. And then the flying guys will go up here. Cool. And then he's going to move. Oi! Mm. And he doesn't go meow because that's a very angelic thing to do. <laughs> he goes stomp, and he's going to stomp on that, and it's going to go away. The tree? Yep, the tree. Your favourite tree. Deforestation. Deforestation okay, yeah. in action. Okay. So that was there. And interrupt, Josh? Would you uh, like to interrupt? How brave is the Pope feeling? <laughs> Pretty brave. <laughs> with Pretty all of that, brave, with yeah. all of that next to him, I would be very surprised if the Pope it's couldn't survive. Himself right now. Couldn't survive the uh, punchings. 
it's with a special, a special Italian flavor uh, Parisier. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, let's activate here. More stuff! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't bother commanding anything. Usually, though, oh, you can't command him, can you? Yeah. I was thinking you could command the standard bearer, but you can't. Because he's not got mercenary. No. no, I'm all good. Okay. Right. All right, devil. I'm going to try and kill the Pope. Oh, my goodness. So, my thinking is this I can make a normal melee attack. Yeah, so it'd be one kill plus two red one dice. One kill plus two red dice. I can when I I'm going to spend this when I declare a melee attack. Put a number of wounds. Cost me three legend tokens. Wow, the devil's going mad. When I put I put X number of uh, put X number of wounds on any attacking character to add that number of. Uh, yeah. That, this number is this is my last ditch. Number this of is yeah. the last kills or dice? No, or it's, it's it's disrupts. Disrupts, okay. But this is this is the last thing I can do. So right? you're on eight health with the devil, so seven wounds on it. But then I put I, if I, I if I get the result, I target them all on the pope. Can I do that? Uh, you've got targeting. Yeah. Oh, sugar. Can I put them all on the pope? Well, we, only if they make it through the yeah, defense yeah, 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 and yeah, the yeah. gate. Yeah. Does, does bodyguard do anything to stop targeting? I doubt it. But this is the penultimate that's one. That's, that's when I allocate stuff. This is, well, this is my last throw of dice, yeah. basically. Oh, this, this is, is so hold on. Let's, this let's, either works or it doesn't. Yeah. So it, targeting when attacking if, dice results obtained by this unit. If it doesn't work, yeah. you're just going to kill the yeah, devil. Yeah. But then bodyguard is after attack results have been allocated. You know, the defending player may can reassign so, one disruptor kill result from another unit. So yes, you can assign them all to the pope. Whatever makes it through, but then one can be taken by bodyguard. How many guys have bodyguard? Uh, just Gabriel. Just oh. Gabriel. Okay, so we're looking at a kill automatically. I get an automatic kill. I get one kill. Two red dice. And, I get and two red dice. Are you gonna how many wounds are you going to take? I just have to go all out. I'm just There's, there's, there's no way I can so fight my way. So you're going to leave yourself on one wound remaining. Yep, so gonna, seven there's, wounds. There's no way I can go through that. You've taken six so far. Uh, yeah, I think so. So here's seven more wounds. Put yep. yourself seven disrupts out there. Yep. Um, there's, no, there's no way. I can have the card. <laughs> so I can show people I can I can do more damage than this. One yeah. attack. So this is the yeah. card that Jake has used. This is the best. Mm -hmm. This is the best thing yeah, I can yeah. possibly do, as far Sacrifice as I understand it. Yeah. A okay. Yeah. But but if if this fail, if this either wins me a game or it loses me the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so, big. Yeah. Oh, this so is... so I get how many? Seven. So seven disrupts and one kill automatically. Josh did get his reroll token back from the mm -hmm. War Council I'm glad, card. Big glad I did. Yeah. Very important to note that, that happened at the start of the round. But this is this is it. It's it's not going to get any easier and for you me. There's so many defensive things that are going to really mm -hmm. screw with this. The thing is that that Josh could put the Pope in somewhere I can't get at him. Yeah. And yeah. so I've been spending the last two turns trying to keep him out of the yeah. buildings, so that I have the right sequence of him mm -hmm. out, out yeah. of the buildings and me with at least two, yeah, at least two activations and at least yeah. three legend card yeah. tokens, and this is the only way I could do it. So as far as I can see, this is this is it. This he is did have a, have a because he's he's adding seven. I'm adding disrupts seven disrupts. Though some will be cancelled. <laughs> some about, I mean, lots of them are going to get cancelled. It's probably yeah. not going to work. Let's find out. But so I can't think of any better plan. Show us some kills. Come on, up the tension. Couple show of kills. kills. No, two, two shields. shields. Oh, for what? There's one. There's only one. There's shield. only one shield on each red shield. dice. Oh my god. Well, there you go. <laughs> It's just not meant. To, it's not your night, Jake. It it's absolutely just not your night. It just absolutely is not my. All right, night. Josh. I need another black and another white dice, please, and another white dice. Yes, one more white dice. Oh, yeah, you can take it from there. Well, I cancel two disrupts from the get-go. From the. Uh, from right, the so who, who does bearer. the cancelling of the disrupts? The standard bearer. Okay. Standard bearer when defending cancel up to two disrupts. So what? So what else have we got? Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's not there. <gasps> I have one dice fewer. Yeah, you're quite right. I don't cancel the two disrupts. So still got that. Yeah. I've got the area. musician so just, just, just check. Yeah, yeah. Check. <laughs> two <laughs> supervisors. Musician. Got guys. Oh, it's gotten real. Bob Clement. Archangel yeah. Gabriel got his dice, yeah. and I've got the executioner's dice. Yeah. Stan Barrow was one white That's and took out of the pool. Okay. Um, well, the two yellow in. dice, yeah. uh, the blanks count as shields. So roll them in first. Oh my god. They're the only yellow ones, for sure. So that's two shields. Oh, come on. And they'll be the only blanks I roll, I promise you that. Wow. Watch your hand for seeing <laughs> So five more shields. So I haven't done it. One, two, three, four, five. You had eight different results. 
and the bodyguard can take one away. Wow. Um, so that was, like I said, it was. I had to be a bit yeah, lucky, we'll and like I just had. Today is not yeah. a day I'm no. lucky. No. I mean, like, if I whiffed, I'm, like. Yes, that's what I'm saying. If I if I'd rolled a couple, yeah. you know, a couple of results on those, which is what you should have yeah. done on yeah. those. These these are mostly results on the red mm -hmm. dice. If you'd rolled like something to average out the other things you've been rolling today, <laughs> if we'd kind of if that average had that's tipped fair. back towards average <laughs> by now. But as I said, I couldn't think. I can't think of anything else. But, that, but does, does does one disrupt get through? Uh, so you get. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, seven shields. What have you got in your hand? So what have you got one, in your hand right now? What, what is the shenanigans? There is no, one I'm, okay. I'm okay. I'll take a disrupt. There is one disrupt left which you can take on Gabriel. No, you can, you, you you can get target on yours. Oh, sorry, I can target it on the Pope and then he can, and take, then it on, he can take it on Gabriel. And then I'll redirect it on Gabriel. Yeah. I'll take it on Gabriel. Oh, you didn't want the Pope to suffer a wound from the devil? Like, imagine him going back being like, sup, I fought the devil and got this wicked scar. You didn't like, even get a scar. That's all. So good he was. Oh, man. So that, unfortunately, I mean, we could call it there, really. But what was, would you like to try and kill the devil? I feel I could if he's on one wound. Yeah, we've got to you absolutely can. We've like got, we got to give him the shot. Like, well, the I mean, the devil, right. the devil's defense is is not good. So quick, do, quick, do dice that, for you. the flying demons. Mm -hmm. See if they they join their brethren. They do not. They stay there. Yeah. Start of the round. We find ourselves with only three orders. This for the final. No, I've got two here. Oh, so I've got two. Right, two one. one. Josh, you want to just... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Coup de grat. Yeah, um, absolutely. Give the kill yeah. to the Pope. <laughs> the Pope doesn't roll attack dice, sadly. Aww. As heartbreaking as it is. The Pope shouldn't be rolling attack <laughs> uh, You dice. do have terror, though. I do have terror, which means I will... Yeah, let's show the new terror rules. We use uh, black dice and shields. Do we use black dice? Don't yeah, we, we use black dice. dice. No, nope. we used to use yellow dice. Now we use black dice, and on a shield... Uh, we will have. I'm yeah. running two, am I? And we will have units will be reduced. A unit of your choice will be reduced to one dice or no dice. They'll wait. Uh, I didn't roll any shields because they're only black dice. So I guess we're not shields. learning the new terror rules. You're <laughs> learning that I cannot roll dice to save my life. So I'm only getting a lot of the stuff that I can't attack. Um, it's just as well the devil's immortal, uh, isn't it? Otherwise, I'm, just like I'm getting a yellow for the executioner, a red from caller. And I'm getting. You really have no attacks on those guys at all. They're uh, just white from this defense. new stand bearer and free from Archangel Gabriel. It's going to yeah. be Gabriel, right? Three, three reds. Uh, and you can't. You you don't roll any dice, but you have two art max shield results, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And ignoring pushes. So, oh dear, he's uh, takes three wounds and he's dead. Yeah. God. You can take him off the bat, Josh. You can, yeah. you can celebrate. My well word. Done. Good game. We do Woo! sugar over the devil himself. There he goes. You can get him. Bye bye. No. And he doesn't go over there. No, he doesn't go he over doesn't there. Go, he Gigantic is, things just don't go in here. There, they just die. Oh, oh dear. My word. Wow. I mean, yeah. You that if if anything, what that showed was just the utility of this army and how well you can put it all together. Mm -hmm. The strength of this one, but my goodness, you were just kept at bay constantly. The culverine, the combination of splitting up and pushing and pushing and yielding back, the threat continually of of the the, the angels, like mm -hmm. of of Saint Michael, of Gabriel, sorry, was just like so present. Like it meant none of this could really get involved or split up because he just knew he would come in and slam it. The defensive power. Of I, I got really lucky when I didn't have an army yet, and yeah. it meant that I what didn't have stuff all over me already by the time my reinforcements yeah. turned up yeah. just That's absolutely incredible well, to be fair i think your dice rolls were pretty spectacular yeah yeah they were it was the, the all the way especially the ones in turn two and mine um, were pretty spectacular as well but yeah not quite the sure. same way that was awesome well look guys any questions about the game we're gonna look to wrap it up because we've been on for for two and a half hours that was that time? was what is it, was, it is half nine, half uh, nine okay. that was a pretty epic game i enjoyed watching you guys go through that a lot actually it was yeah it started well taking the halberdiers at the start was great yeah um, the halberdiers were nice it was it was a, a an early an early benefit that was nice i mean the, you expect to get some, some cool stuff out of that but you've yep. got to have your men you've got to have troops adjacent to the enemy to yep. do that and once i'd been kind of pushed to the edges i couldn't get near the good stuff yeah 
The guys are wondering if we do have a special add-on um, dice set that, that you were using uh, or that Jake was using that was making the rules go in a certain way. Uh, but no, I, th I think to be honest, there was yeah, a lot of rules. You don't want happening. my special dice set. Yeah, you just don't want that one. It was because you, when you wanted shields, you weren't getting them. When you by Josh's special <laughs> dice. <laughs> the self-sacrifice though was a great play. Like, that was, that was, was that, a great that chance. Was, that was the the only thing I could think of because it was. I couldn't do it in interrupts because he was yeah. just going to run yeah, away. Yeah. I had to be able to do it in my turn, and I and I had to. The targeting allows me to pick on him. It was yeah. the only way I could get because two two dice and a kill is not yeah. that much when he's got so much to soak it, it. It was very much on my mind when I didn't manage to take the legend token off you, yeah. because it left yeah. you with exactly left three. Me, left me with three. Yeah, it's it why left I did you nothing with two else instead. Yeah, that's why I did nothing else yeah. with them, but. And you were very carefully not attacking things that could generate the, the defense. Yeah, so. you did such a good and job. And the guys, the guys that generate an attack spent their yeah. time here yeah. not being available to generate them in attack. And you, you did such a good job, Josh, of splitting the board kind of down the middle and keeping the poke really far away from any of the forces over here that could ever get involved and even creating another barrier. Because you have quite strong troops in the middle, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. You, didn't, you didn't throw them away, you didn't throw attacks away frivolously. You just went, I'm going to hold, I'm going to continually split and rely on my bodyguards to defend the guy, you, you had the objective yeah, I, I, in mind. I, as soon as he was out in the op open, I just had, I couldn't let, like, me and Jake played, um, was it Cressy? And I, 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 don't, I, was, I was in a very solid position, but I, I left a tiny opening to get some extra sort of attacks opportunity in, and it let some cavalry go straight from my wagons down the middle and take out my convoy, cut off my supplies. So you, you've learned the siege objective. Was broken, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you did incredible job. So I there thought, you go. I thought yeah. smashing open the building to get to the Pope was nice. It was yeah. like, you know, it was like, yeah. you know, oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's got a Pope in. And what you were doing up to control the sky was really good because actually to make sure that you couldn't get interrupted and you could keep the flying demons up there and could use your, your, your uh, I don't know what the, what's the name of the power called when he... He doesn't have a name. They don't have names. It's essentially where he's he's turn coating the enemy. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. He's, he's he's turning them, he's he's. Uh, but we only yes. got to see one unit. Two, no, two units turned in the end. We got the green yeah, at the very end. We got end. the covering at the very uh, end. Yeah, we never never did anything. But he got he got. Baz is like maybe re I got him to go. stop. <laughs> he's shooting. Sorry. And Baz wants a rematch immediately. <laughs> well, I think we're going to call it there, guys. Thank, thank you so much, everybody at home, for watching. I think we had a, a, about a hundred people across the two different platforms there watching. That was really, really, really nice. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. So Leo will be live tomorrow night with Vince of Lucky Duck Games. So those guys will be doing a live oh, yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll have more content over the course of the weekend. We'll be sharing more details on the expansions. We'll be sharing more Kickstarter updates, and of course, we will have more stretch goals to unlock. So hopefully, you'll be joining us for that. And next week, we'll have a bunch of lives. We'll be hanging out with the board game spotlight guys, the board game exposure guys the board game revolution guys lots of different facebook groups chats Gosh. and interactions there we, and these guys will be back to play, play more, more games, games? yeah next yeah, week we'll, we'll play, more, play games. more games um if there's any particular battle mode and um, armies that you'd like to see um playing or any particular scenarios i think so okay might let you guys build your own armies we'll Ooh. see how broken josh can make an army um uh, <laughs> but for tonight we're gonna i know how, i know how broken you can make an army <laughs> i know this what one. you know tech <laughs> he's gonna take this <laughs> one <again. laughs> thank you so much yes thank you game trays very much thank you yep. appreciate your help um bye noah bye ramsey bye brie bye rob bye baz bye mike bye norbert very bye nice everyone. to see you all i'm gonna do my little walk around here and i'm gonna go and turn this off i'm gonna switch to this and then <laughs> walk around goodbye everybody have yes. a lovely night goodbye. thank you for coming we shall see you